Line, and I'm even on my Top Gun account. Fucking hell, guys. Ungrateful cunts. Oh, look, here's one now. Jesus, I was just about to deactivate my Top Gun account. Thought I had no friends. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I had a race against Hayden. In what? He, 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 race B. Yeah. Um, and he added me. Well, he asked, yeah. can I send you a friend request? And yep. So I just added him. And then he sent me a chat request. <laughs> He's a kid. And I, I know. And it, it was some other dude with something 13 as his name. And I'm like, no, I'm not I'm not getting in a chat with two kids. Yeah, no shit. Kids that. I wouldn't either. So I just, le I just left it. But um, I didn't want to. Didn't I was want joking to about it with... Um, one of the guys at work the other day, I was telling him how all these kids are, how young they are and shit. He's like, yeah. do they add you? I'm like, yeah, they try to. He's like, do you get in a party with them? I was like, fuck, no. I was like, that would be like, that's that's it. That's my call sign, man. I'm out. Like, the moment I hear yeah. a child's yeah. voice, I'm out. <laughs> I'm it's like, I'm the only high-pitched voice around here, mate. <laughs> I have to talk to someone. Um, uh, what are you doing? Wet spa. Uh, wet spa. Wet spa. And just mostly because we, well, I'm want to get proper practice in, um, yeah. and Meta, uh, kind of asked. Heaps of points, heaps of points today. Did ya? Up to, up to like 44. What, what were you, what are you starting at? Oh, I was down at like 37, 38. Nah, I mean, uh, position, mate. Oh, um, pole mostly. Sick. So you've improved it a bit, or just still because of your when, ranking? Uh, I got a point three. Oh, nice. It just improved it. Nice. From a point so basically, if we went into a but, race, um, the three of us, we'd probably be one, two, three. Start... Yeah, yeah. Same as us. Oh, yeah. Towards the afternoon, like, I started yeah. to push back. Yeah, like, yeah. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Fourth, um, do, we, were you spot there. on when you got on last night? Like, was there no one there, basically? During the Manu didn't... races? Well, you didn't have a crack no, last I night? Did, I didn't. Uh, I didn't race, no. I was doing Because I'm job. telling you, bro, it would have been deserted. Oh, I've done oh, dailies. Uh, when uh, for the RCZ as well. Uh, top Gun. If you want to have a look? Yeah, Top Gun. I will. My activity feed's been absolutely fucking destroyed. Oh, there we go. Getting tagged. Getting tagged, Tag. mate. Getting tagged. <laughs> Getting tagged, mate. Ooh, I like that United States Navy decal. Ooh, that's a different Top Gun decal. United States Navy Top Gun. It's the actual flight school one. Yeah. Like the real one. Yeah. And that, even that decal on the front, I don't have that plane. What is that? Look at the fucking um, rear wings on it. I can't remember what it is. There was a few that I... But it's got. like a top-down aerial oh, view of the plane. Well, yeah, they had silhouettes of all different aircraft. Yeah, mad. Was that just under, like, the jet? Uh, I think um, I looked up plane. Oh, I haven't done plane. I've done jet. Or... Yeah. It might have been a... Uh, yeah. I think I put in, like, jet, plane, just all, all sort of aircraft type words and yeah a whole heap of them came up yeah but I think um I don't know Merlin's been doing that other race I think probably see otherwise. I haven't even put a time in yeah same I just wouldn't I mean I'll do the time by the end of the week just to get the speed mm. score from it mm. um but B is where it's at for actually yeah, getting too. DR it must be a fun race though Keep everyone's, uh, everyone's got the McLarens out. Mm, the, oh, the McLarens are beast, man. Beast. Actually, I'll do it in that 100% because they've seen even if Killer's yeah. in it, then I'll fucking do a mad time in it. Yeah, I was pretty happy last night. Can't complain. What is this? Manu? No, yeah, Manu. Okay. But, get used to practicing this shit anyways, because I think we will set up a wet series soon. Someone like Automoto, he knows all the 
all the tracks and all the modes and everything that can already be done. Um, yeah. And at least the settings. Um, and he's got, he's clearly got like, so he's not like the fastest when it comes to group three and four, but when it comes to the harder groups and the harder settings, he's fucking like, boom, you know, like uh, it was like when we were at Le Mans on the hard. So I was like, this guy's got traction and he's fucking killing me. <laughs> like, like yeah, yeah, he was he was beating Hyperdrift, and I was struggling to stay in Hyperdrift's wake. And I was like, this is Le Mans. <laughs> like, and he was just like, I oh, just like this track, bro. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just a little. He was like, fuck, uh, best yeah, lap was like, like four seconds faster than me. Party on Anton. Mm. It's a good name. Party on Anton. Party on Anton. Oh, okay. Tell me twice. Did you like Bill of Dead's Grow It Up? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Have you seen the new one? Yep. Uh, no, 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 I haven't done no. Um, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as, say, the second. Um, yeah. and the second, like, the first is its own beautiful movie, but the second is, like, out there, and it's yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. but it is the... The many incarnations of Bill and Ted that you see throughout the movie are worth the viewing alone. Like, mm -hmm. just seeing them at the start of the movie as 50-something dads is gold. Yeah. Like, they're still exactly the same. It's like, how the fuck? Like, my missus was getting annoyed at it. She was like, nobody talks like this. And I was like, Bill and Ted talk like that. And she was like, yeah, in the 80s. And I was like, and they're still clearly the same dumb fucks. Like... I was like, that's awesome. That I was like, I wish I could go 30 years and not change and still be the same young, youthful dickhead. Like, um, but yeah, they recruit a super band. Um, oh, yeah. Jimi Hendrix, Louis Armstrong, Mozart, some Asian fucking violin player from like Keith Moon. 2000 BC. Nah, um, who do they get for it? They get some cave drummer. It's like oh, a caveman, literally. Like, they, they call him the first percussionist in the world oh, yeah. and it's like a caveman and they're just like is that a dig at drummers you reckon? probably yeah probably it probably is it probably is because they always any movie about music or even musicians about music they always take the piss out of the drummers like it's yeah. in guitar hero in the loading screams they backed out the drummers there was always all these little uh like fake facts that would come up and it was like the yeah. drummer is the most uh, is the least important person in the band it was like they show up late and just beat the crap out of something and say they're done. Um, it even makes a Metallica reference, where it's like, can you turn the bass down? That's pretty harsh, isn't it? Yeah, Jason's just like, <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> um, but honestly, I heard that recently. I heard a remastered version of that with what the bass was intended to be, and it's it's no good. It's no good. It's too much. Um, it it might have been different if it was Cliff. But it's, it's, it does, like it reverberates throughout the whole entire album. Yeah, it's got a whoop, whoop, whoop to it. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it, it takes away from, like, something like Blackened and Justice, like it takes away from that sharp, It, honestly, Paranoid come on today, and the start of it, like, I was thinking of the bass, and I was just like, like, I'm literally thinking that, like, this was 1970, so I think it was 1970, that song. And yeah, literally, Jared right, Butler, yeah. dead, 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 and Ozzy's just like, fuck yeah! <laughs> like, he's literally just sitting there going, dead, 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 dead. <laughs> and that's the start of the song. Like, I thought of it, and I was, because I was, like, I was having flashbacks to, like, playing Dave Mirror and shit. And I was like, that's the first time I heard this. Like, it wouldn't have been the first time it was, I heard the song, but it was the first time I recognised the song. And I was just fully having this flashback to like, like they're not huge for me, Sabbath, but I was just like, fuck, it was 1970, like, yeah. dead, 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 like these cuts were metal, like. You can see that influence in all the, yeah, all the other bands. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, I agree. Sort of... We'll uh, get the other lad in because he knows this well. He'll actually be very good for information. Oh, yeah. He loves joining the commentary box. We'll call him the, uh, he's not the colour commentary, we'll call can him we the expert. Can, can we have a bet on how long before he mentions his, um, uh, 
race director, what does he call it? Race uh, engineer. engineer. You know what the engineer is, yeah? Right. You do know, it's yeah? Gonna be in the first, it's going to be in the first minute, first 60 seconds. Well, it, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. You know what it is, because like I've talked, <laughs> yeah. I've joked about it too. I'm like, yeah, my engineer's yeah. in the other room. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, and and so we should. We're on a stream. It's got to be good. I'm trying to even. I, I nearly. I didn't, I wasn't going to say anything just because I've is mouthed off quite a watching? mouthed off quite a bit in last week's nations, but I didn't get racist. Um, because I can't in nations, it's just Aussies, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. yesterday, as soon as Gav was having trouble, and he was like this fucking Japanese cunt, like I was just like, in my head, I was like, Japanese fellow, Japanese yeah. lad, like just don't add a derogative <laughs> word to it, because that. then it's, it's no, I know, but the moment you add a derogative yeah. word, it's seen as racist, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. YouTube will literally go, no, that's a racist comment. That's where, like, I, where I cracked it with Rob when I joined the party and I told him I was streaming and then he just deliberately went on a tirade and I was like, well done, mate, and I just left. Like, even Artie was like, yeah, that was that was silly. Um, it was like Rob made a point of saying, fuck you, YouTube and all your rules and just started to slander on all these things. Um, and I just left. Cause... The OGR, OGR boys in my races today too. Mm. Race tech. Mm. Yeah, I had a race with him yesterday. Gaza. Mick Doolan was there for a bit. Oh, no whackers, mate. Jump in whenever you're ready. I was just saying your expert uh, commentary would be good for um, talking us through the laps. But yeah, take your time. Seconds. Nah, he's, he's doing something with uh, someone else. Oh, he's, he? oh, okay. he's coaching Muzz in quali. So I think Muzz is going through, I guess, the practice oh. laps. And he's probably he he's either doing share stream or something like that. Now I'm about to go out. I'm just getting into the as slow as I can on this. First getting lap. into the uh, adequate state oh. of mind, because the engineers um, got some new equipment. And you know what it's like whenever you get new equipment. Oh just like, really? Whoa! Nice. I forgot what that new felt like. Eh? Yeah, you know. Been using the same shit for like four months. No word. No lie. Exact same. Um. Do you remember, this is going back nearly 20 years, um, the clone, what, did you ever have like a, a Cartoon Network, you know, when it was out on Optus, Foxtel, whatever, back in the day? Um, I mean, even for you, 20 years ago, you would have been quite much younger. Um, yeah. When they brought out um, the um, animated um, Clone Wars series on Cartoon yeah. Network, do you remember that? Like it was like yeah. clearly that Cartoon Network style animation, like yep. it looked like Samurai Very, Jack and stuff. Um, yep. But the show itself was clearly a Toonami show and Toonami was the adult offshoot of Cartoon Network. So like it was it was a PG cartoon, it was more violent than anything you'd ever seen in a Star Wars, you know, canon. Um, and it was short episodes, like 10 minute episodes. Um, really short, really anime style, chapters you know what i mean quick chapter quick battle quick jedi yeah. fight like um it was sick anyways it was the sickest show and it was a cartoon network exclusive by toonami um and it filled in all the gaps because this was before revenge of the sith come out it filled in all the gaps between clone and revenge um especially because yep. like grievous makes his appearance in clones and like He's already got the limp and the wheezing and everything, and you're you, like, you, you have no idea who he is, what he is, how he got that way. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like yeah, this robotic yeah. human guy. Um, yep. The cartoon actually shows you what happened to him and how he was. First, it shows you how he was created. Well, it gives yeah, it a I'll bit of a backstory back later. On that, I don't but there's a moment that well. where it's it's Yoda. Um, 
he, there's a Yoda has a direct fight with Grievous, like when Grievous is fresh to the battlefield, and like after he's he was a, a human who like Darth Vader style got fucking decimated, and like all that's left of him basically is his organs and his brain and his melted head, um, and they put him into the fucking robot suit, give him the Jedi reflexes and all that shit. Um, he is normal. He's all good and fit and healthy, um, and then he fights Yoda on Genosa. Um, so this is like before the scenes that you see in the movie, because the movie's Genosa too. It's like, so w w what you see in the movie is like when Anakin goes there later and like yeah, gets captured yeah. and shit, and then all the Jedi, because they know of Genosha, they go there later to help. Um, but it's like the first encounter there. And there's a bit where like they're fighting and Grievous holds his own for a little while um, as a like saber. You know, like Yoda realizes and Yoda is meant to be like, literally the greatest not only force user but lightsaber battler um you know there is it's like the same moment he has with the emperor in the third movie where he realizes i can't beat this guy this way like because yeah, in there yeah. with the emperor he's having a force fight he's trying to fight him with the force and the emperor is just yeah. fucking owning him um and he runs like a bitch he literally runs from the emperor um in this he just thinks outside the box and realizes that he goes to do a force thing expecting grievous to do because grievous basically the way grievous is reacting is like he knows yoda's he's, he's like um that dc character and the marvel character the copycat you know what i mean where they re, they, yep, they yep. learn yeah so he's literally doing that and yoda picks up on that like <laughs> that he's preempting his every move um and then there's a bit where he goes to do a force thing and grievous doesn't preempt it in fact he doesn't even react similarly and it affects him and straight away yoda's like he doesn't have the force he's no jedi he's no sith you know like because he, he's yeah. he's like kind of in awe of him at this point because he's fighting with four arms and he has these defeated yeah. jedi sabers so yoda's yeah. like he's killed my brethren you know like he's good and he's beaten him in outright saber combat but the moment he uses the force and grievous he has this fear in his eyes of like oh no he tries to flee one of those ships, the drop ship things comes in, and like he does like this mad jump up to the drop ship, and like basically goes to take off. Yoda reaches out one handed, stops the drop ship like mid air, like, and this is before you've seen you know the full levels of cunts doing this shit in the in the last movie, you know, pulling ships out of the sky and shit like that. Like Yoda just stops it where it is, and like the ship's trying to pull away, and Yoda's like he's he's pretty calm. He's like just got the eyes closed, and he's like and the ship's like trying to pull away and Grievous is like more oh, power like and then he like goes to throw as one of the sabers at Yoda and Yoda has to do like a he opens his eyes and does like another movement with his hand and the ship kind of jolts out of his reach a little but then he does like this so the ship's basically going to escape and he like does this like super almost Dragon Ball Z like inner focus <laughs> thing yeah, and then he yeah. just reaches out. It looks like he's doing like a um, a one-inch punch with his hand. Like yep. he reaches. It's, so it's not his whole extended hand. It's like his fingers. Like he reaches out with like his three fingers like in an arc. And then he just pierces, like throws his hand forward. And then it's just like this invisible force. Like the camera follows it. It goes right up to Grievous. And it's like his chest. And you just see Grievous like go to grab his chest. And like he's got his hands on the plates on his chest. Like he's trying to stop them yeah. from opening. And he's like... Aah! And like the ship's flying away. And Yoda just like crushes his fist. And like the chest thing just crumples in. And then he does this like flick and it opens up and then he does another squeeze and you see Grievous's heart just go <laughs> like it just like he just grabs his heart with the force. He removes the armor, grabs his heart with the force and he like he, he, he has a hold of him and then the ship jumps into hyperspace and like he gets away. But like in the movie, he just appears as a wheezing robot. You know what I mean? Like you don't yeah. see that. And then yeah, you, you don't know. Yeah. That scene is fucking like it's. I told my cousin that it's coming to the reason I'm even bringing this up. It's coming to Disney Plus, bro. Like I haven't seen this show in 20 years, even after they took it oh, off. Is it really? Yes, it's coming to Disney Plus. The full entirety yeah. of it. Um, and like they even took it off Cartoon Network because when when like before the Disney uh, Star Wars rights, I think it was Fox or something like that. But basically, 
it got deemed, even after two very successful seasons, was one of the most successful shows on Toonami. It got deemed as too violent. Like, it was. It was sick. Like, I loved it. But, like, for a cartoon yeah, from, of Star Wars, yeah. it was just too full on. Um, but it was Clone Wars. That's what it was meant to be. Like, the Clone Wars were meant to be the bloodiest battles that had ever happened in that era, you know, that you don't ever see on film. Mm. You know, soldiers, men, yeah, shooting each other yeah. and dying all the time, you know, over what they don't even know. It's like their commentary on the Vietnam War. Yeah. But yeah, it's yep. it's it's so worth checking out, bro. Even in its entirety, it only runs for about three hours. Because it's like, like I said, they're, they're, honestly, I think the shortest episode is six minutes, and then the longest is like 18. Like, they're very much spaced out, like, episodic content. Like, you don't jump from scene to scene. You follow one person for a little bit, and then that's it. You know what I mean? Like, and then being able to watch yeah. it in its entirety in the arcs that it's played out in would be so fucking good. I haven't watched it for years, and yet, refreshing it to you, I can still so vividly remember it. was like a fanboy moment, you know, when I was a kid, and I seen that. Even Yoda, you'd never seen Yoda be that violent yeah, with the Force. And, yes, yeah. like, oh, I'm going to hurt you. It's like the Dark Ages, you know? Yeah, Star medieval, Wars. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, the, all the shit pre-Republic. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. violent and... Yeah. Yeah, like the video games, we've been promised and promised and promised, and then they just keep cancelling them because they're like, no, this is adult-only content. We can't release this. And it's like, but that's for the adults, you fucking idiots. It's not for the kids. Yeah. It's like, you right. do realise that all the people that are into Star Wars are 50 now, yeah? Like, at least, at bare minimum, that's young fans. <laughs> like, fans that grew up with the originals. Yeah. But yeah, get onto it when it comes out. It comes out in April. For me, it was big news. IGN yeah, shared it. I haven't it. watched anything on uh, Disney yet. I haven't seen well, Mandalorian I've, or... Uh, get on to Mando, my God. All right, the first season was good, but the second... <gasps> you don't know spoilers? <laughs> no, I've avoided everything. I'm going to... I'm not going to spoil it. anything, but they Eventually. link to the legacy characters, like of Star Wars. Yeah. To the point where you you could pinpoint the exact year that it's set in. Um, they, yeah, they bring in, I think, three characters from the original movies. And it's just, like, done perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah. And WandaVision's meant to be amazing. I was waiting for the show to finish. Yeah. It's finished. It's meant to be off its fucking head, and it's meant to have massive repercussions for the MCU by the time it gets to its end. Um, and then, fucking Winter Soldier starts this week, this weekend, and There's fucking Justice League well. premieres tonight. Yes. Justice League, mate. I was watching the red carpet thing live on YouTube at lunchtime, losing my shit. <laughs> it's bro, the reviews are insane. Like it's tomato meter. It's got like it's, it's had 111 worldwide proper reviews, and it's got an 80 percent. Yeah, right. Sorry, I'm trying to drive on this fucking wet track too. Yeah, I'm just rambling. I kept thinking about Star Wars. I feel like I'm Anakin in a pod race. It doesn't rain this much on the desert planet, does it? Nah. What's going no, on? I don't think it does. They get the storm, so. I love that pod race. It's one of thinks. the greatest <laughs> visual achievements of, like, considering that movie was made in 1998. It's one of the greatest visual achievements of all time. To this day, even the video game, it got remastered recently, bro. I was actually really keen for it. Like, the Nintendo 64 pod racer got remastered. I've missed so much. Um, oh man, Star Wars is getting the remaster treatment huge. Like just yeah, all those classic games. Now, eh? Not like the, the games though that were like oh, the, the games, super yeah. nerd games, like Knights of the Old Republic and shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. games from computer, fucking 
20 years ago are getting remastered and people are like because they're getting remastered with servers and shit people are like oh it's like when wow got re-released as the original game you know people just lost their shit yeah. i can't see everyone wanted to, wanting to do this race eh? yeah, it's gonna be tough bro it's mentally draining No, well, we don't know who they are, bro. We're, we're, it's a mystery. Um, they're, they're good fun. Like, they are seriously good, humorous fun. At, we've, at first, we were so adamant that we knew who it was because of the quotes that they were putting out. But then we seen them with that person in the same race, and we were like, they can't. Um, yeah, we're trying to figure it out, bro, but at the same time, I'm, I'm like, I'm only taking the piss now. I'm just kind of backing off. Loopy was the second suspect, um, but I think he's been, he's been in races with Loopy, too. Like, 100%. I've watched dailies of Loopy's, and all the CS boys were there, and Will Barrow was there for hours, and, like, Loopy was racing, and then at the end of it, Will Barrow was like, good races, man. Um... Yeah, it's, I don't know, bro, but, like, they're funny. They're very, very funny. They they know my real name, which is kind of weird. I know I've said it, but, like, they're either watching a lot of my stuff or... But they, they're, like, yesterday they were ripping into the kids, like, the young, young kids, like, just saying comments that were, like, harsh, but true. Like, as soon as they said certain things, like, you know, someone would join a lobby, then leave, and they were, like, yeah, typical person, and you're, like, it's true. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. A disc. Do you know what it was? Um, but yeah, I've been taking the piss, Racer, I've been, um, like, naming a lot of my streams, you know, like, uh, the mystery of the Great Wheelbarrow, you know, who, what, why, um, it, they've been in our lobbies, and they've been actively, like, asking for us, about us, the, the, the humour is, you got a friend request, mate. He won't accept... I haven't sent him one yet, but apparently, like, some of the other guys have sent ones to him, and he won't accept them. Um, so, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I'm not fussed. Like, I mean, I've got no... I don't think I've got beef with him, or he's got beef with us. At first, it was like, who is this person? They're trolling us. Um, but, I mean, he's he's driving around using my car, bro. Or they, sorry, because we don't know if it's a he or she. We were even joking that it could be Rebecca. Um, it could be anyone. It could be anyone. Um, but they're, like, I feel like they're quick. Like, I felt like they were sandbagging yesterday in our lobby, just watching what we were doing. Like, fucking around. Um, because I've seen them consistently in, in, you know, like, they've got pace. Like, they're almost young and top ten. Um, and then the way they were mouthing off being cocky yesterday to the young kids, again, made me think that it is someone young who knows them. Um, if it is the young kids and that's what they're playing at, then I don't know what the attraction is with me because I'm not that good. And I'm, I've only just broken into top split, like, last season, this season. Like, my streaming's taken off a little, but, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they like the banter. Maybe they like my honesty. But they've got a little thing for me. And I'd say vice versa. Yeah, Hangman? we got a thing for the... Oh, yeah. The wheelbarrow. Um... 
we love the wheelbarrow. We love the wheelbarrow. We do. At the moment. Uh, yeah, until, like, and he, he's fucked around a little in races, but then, like, given the position back, or, like, because there's been other times where we've been racing and the pace has been, like, the Red Bull ones, man, it was balls to the wall pace, and a little bump and grind, but it was all good, you know, like, it was it was just good rubbing racing. Um, and then at the end of it, he was like, they were great racers. Might jump on later. But, yeah, no idea, mate. As stumped as you are. Yeah, I'm running with traction too, bro, and I'm anti-traction. Um, I'm running one. I haven't even gone out there for laps yet, but I, I will be running one. Um, I was recommended two. Two was too much. Um, and Ando gave me the best piece of advice. Um, keep it on one, but still drive the car as if you don't have it. Basically, keep your eye on that uh, traction limiter and try to keep your revs from activating the TC. As soon as I started doing that, like I naturally, I, I, I got better. Um, and it's just those low rev turns, keeping the revs up. Because if you get too slow, like if, if you go to first anywhere in this track, except the last turn, you're done. Um, you will spin, you know, even in second, some of the low rev ones in second, you will spin. Um, so yeah, that's that's the best suggestion I can give. And pure yeah. wets, the intermediates are horrible. Yeah, these guys are good too, bro. That faster slap is, they're good. Like that's that's I straight up. I couldn't even get into the 140. That's the straight up SS thing. pace, bro. I was told yesterday that the pros are doing 245s already. So that's I'm ridiculous. Doing like 252. Yeah, I got I got a. I got a 251 yesterday, like my first proper good clean lap. Mm. No worries, bro. Any times, it's you. You're good. We we enjoyed having you around in those lobbies last week. I think it was it you. The it was it was Finland or Iceland or something. It was a European. It was one of them. But no worries. That's I think, legitimately I think it was Finland. Finland, yeah, it's legitimately what cross. I am, well, at least with my streams, like, you know, I want to show good racing, but that's really what I want to do. If people ask, at least if they think I'm doing things right and they ask me what I'm doing and I tell them and it helps them, then that is the best thing I can do. Um, I'm never, like, when, when I give information on how I drive or the, the way I drive all the things I do, I'm never telling anyone how to drive. I'm just saying these are the things I've done and I've got better um, and in saying that I've taken so much advice from other drivers lately that has been slash criticism slash advice of my driving style um, the first thing being throttle control the second thing being um, brake balance and then the third thing being uh, the, the traction in the wet because I persisted for like 15 minutes yesterday trying to drive around this thing without traction before I gave up and the moment I went out with traction I was like oh, <laughs> I can drive um, so yeah I've I've taken on my own advice you know of listening to other drivers that in my opinion are better than me so I respect their opinion and the fact that they give me the time of the day to offer advice because in those cases it was mostly like it wasn't me asking like in one case it was me asking for it and then in another case it was them saying personal opinion and I was like shoot go for it and got the dressing down and then instantly the pace adapted I will drive out in a minute Like, it's what I've really liked about, um, iRacers lobbies. Haven't had a chance to really race in one yet. Um, but definitely what I've liked about watching, at least his Manu lobbies, is that he drives an FF car, so I can take any and all, um, oh my god. Any and all, um, 
basically tips from the way he drives. Um, but yeah, just being able to watch a lobby full of A and S's, that's why I kind of usually have the restrictions on mine. Not that I want to be beaten by these guys, but I, if I'm practicing for... Fuck, fuck me, wowee. Um, if I'm practicing for Nations or Manu, because I'm basically near top split, I want guys in my lobby to be of that level. It makes sense that the practice that I'm doing is at race pace. And you do lobbies to learn your tyres, learn your brake balance or whatever, but for me it's usually more about the race pace. It's like getting used to the, the draft and the passing conditions and everything like that. That's the turn that kills me in second. You hit the throttle too much and it just wants to spin. Um, another thing Ando told me with the one TC is treat, still treat first and second gear um, like you normally would, basically, that you can floor it and the TC will look after the car. He said from gear three is when you uh, do the throttle application. Mostly for turns like this coming up. Yeah, cooked it. Got to really get used to this again. No, no way am I braking enough. Still driving like it's not raining. Oh mate, just honestly, you have one look at your lobbies and the people that are in there, and I know, like, and I, your lobby in YouTube too, and I see, like, the people comment, and I just know instantly, like, you've clearly got a lot of respect, like, some of the drivers that won't give me the time of day in the lobbies here, you know, in the matching, in the dailies, anything, like, they, I could have a great race with them and, you know, say well done or whatever, and they just leave, they don't care. Um, those are the drivers that I'm talking about, they're in your lobbies and they're giving you the time of day and you know you can match it with them and learn from them basically um so yeah you've definitely done something right mate you've got a good following too like i, I actually like i said the other day that i was like oh loopy's you know got a good following he's one of the high ones and i didn't even realize that you basically got double his numbers um i don't know how long you've been doing it but it's still an it's still a good number when you look at how like small basically our little racing community is there's only like top 100 guys and when you've got near 500 um you're doing something right you've clearly got some international ones which i'm starting to get um and i've always had that in my lobbies too just like skizzle miss goosey miss goosey hello alfa romeo <laughs> that's why we started with this guten tag stuff because we had these germans that were just really good and they were talking german and i started badly translating german and that's where Guten Tag, mate, come from. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, even before I was YouTubing, I had a I had a habit for getting the internationals in if I had an AS restriction. But I've never been good enough to fuck keep up with them. Like if you can, I think yesterday as we went on in those Sardinia lobbies, I, I did get better and better and better and eventually got that third, you know, with very good opposition in front of me. Um, but that one, when the Italians were out front, just the two of them, it was a joke. Like, even, I think Codes was chasing them, Codes and Hayden, and they were just gone. Like, I can't imagine how much better Europe is than our league. It's like Japan. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, come on. I was doing it. I was doing it. 
<laughs> I've only gone off once, bro. I'm a minute 50 in. I'm about to come on to start the third sector. I know it's horrible, but I only went off once. It's just... So... You can't do anything. Like, it's such bare minimum application of everything. Brakes, acceleration, turning. What's going on, bro? Hey, how's it going? Hi, mate. Struggling. Struggling? Mm -hmm. I jump in now. And this, um, there's a... What is that flag? It's a uh, Thai, isn't it? Thailand? PSC? <laughs> Um, 244.3. I was told pro times at the moment with 245s. Okay, really? Yeah. I'm coming around 250. I had one little off. 250 something. It's going to be bad, but at least it's under three minutes. First lap. Mm. 256. Ouch. I was struggling with this first turn yesterday. It's so hard to get right. Really, how many times can I spin in this opening lap? <laughs> oh, dude, I spun driving out three times. <laughs> yeah. Man, I haven't even been behind anyone yet. I just looked behind me in the rooster tail. Oh, no. These cars don't have F1 lights. I'm not going to be able to see shit chasing people. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> the guy behind me. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going through those S's. I'll just go straight through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he's on the grass. Oh, yeah, shit. It's so much brakes, dude, like, and so little throttle. Except first and second, and I've got TC on. Yeah, One. I actually got, I One. got wheel spin, um, in fourth gear. Yeah, you'll get that, and it'll chirp hard. Um, and that really fast left-hander that would normally be a really fast left-hander? Yeah, it's not. Best I can get through there is third. And is I don't... Move on? The after, uh, yeah, I'm going through there now. Yeah. Just ahead of you. I don't know all of Spa's turns. I'm not that good. I know the the, the important one. <laughs> Why is... I, I still didn't get that answer from Moto. Why is that corner, that particular corner, because it was the wrong corner too. I had a look at the replay and seen what he was talking about. Why is that bloody corner at uh, Le Mans called Indianapolis? Why? It's an American thing. Uh, yeah, no idea. It's the well, little well, corner, sorry. it's the little left-hander at the end of Mulsan before the cottage. Um, the, the turn at Le Mans is called Indianapolis. Why? It wouldn't have been called that forever. And it was one of those turns that over time was added in to slow down Mulsan. Mm. But I was just like, yeah, it's a French track and they're so, like, French. You know, everything must be French and of their standard and I just thought why have they got a corner named after an American like the most iconic American track there you go hangman lap two stop it there we go see I'm not even getting into fifth gear on the straight before the first turn Yeah, if you put the foot down a little early on Air Rouge, you get tie spin in fourth. Man, this is fucking no grip. <laughs> I'm just uh, playing uh, tapsies with Meta. Yeah, sorry about that. No, 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 no. It's uh, I wanted to drive behind someone to see what it was like. Yep. It's not too bad.
and also you might help me get quicker. Yeah, don't go into first. You just aquaplane straight away. Keep it in second, no matter what. Boy, <laughs> this <laughs> nice little, little drift there. Oh man, you would start Danny yesterday in that Genesis. Some of the things you were doing. Fuck, that was awesome to watch. It's like every time I put the spotlight on you, you did something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but it just looked so good. And then when I was chasing you afterwards, and you, the like when you got past me, and then I was like, nah, I'm trying to get you back, and you started slipping and sliding. Like, but saving it. Yeah. It just looked cool. Yeah, it's, I love driving the Genesis, even on bad tyres, it's just kind of fun. It's in that Marlboro li livery. It just looks so like, good. Like honestly, seeing it again, it makes me so happy. It's it's probably my only really, really good replica. The only stickers it doesn't have is the, three, the 3K or 3XY, whatever it is on the front. 3XY, yeah. It's like an old one. And I replaced it with something else. I put some other Australian thing there. Same as like the HRT one because the HRT car I was copying actually had an Xbox sponsor on it. So I took Creative Liberty there and replaced it with the PlayStation logo. Yeah. But yeah, oh. with like the Marlboro one, just even just that difference that it made to put the white strip on the roof with the Commodore sticker. Like it was such a difference compared to the other ones. Like it just instantly gave it this flair of its era. Yeah. I'm surprised that um they don't ban the cigarette. Liveries, yeah, same. With all the stickers, yeah. decals and shit with some of the stuff they do ban, yeah. If it's actually done by FIA, then you think that because this is officially sponsored by FIA, yeah. they'd have to get rid of it. It's a relic now of um, racing, even alcohol. Now it's just all replaced with fucking betting agencies. Yay. We got rid of the, the stuff that was physically killing us and we replaced it with the stuff that would just brutally destroy us and our families and our futures. Yeah. Yay for gambling. Australia says yes. What's that, Mr. Packer? You want to own the media and the government? Ah, oh, no problem. This fucking Rupert Murdoch shit now, man. That's where, like, the, the Facebook thing, if only the oldies actually understood what it meant. If they actually only listened to that fucking Kevin Rudd video, listened to the words coming out of his mouth, but they're all just like, Oh, no, we've got no news on Facebook. This is an invasion of privacy and rights. You can't do this. Give us back our Channel 9 news. I miss Tracy Grimshaw. <laughs> there is so much shit on the track, man. Coming out of that turn, Meta, the, the lefty, into the S's, there's like three obstacles on the track. Oh, really? Okay. Like including one of the square braking markers. Yeah, don't go in first. Don't. Miss Goosey! Miss Goosey! I can't see! Miss Goosey! Oh, I've got pace. Oh my god. Ah, he hit me! Miss Goosey! Goosey is having a bad day at the office. That was wide. Hey, it's been around and around. <laughs> oh no, I went too late. <laughs> he is, bro. He was doing some crazy shit. <laughs> there's cars all over the track. Like, there's a car sitting just outside the pit exit. It's hyperdrift. I went to pull over. 
Fucking resets on and it shouldn't be, but I guess, yeah, we need it. Oi! Oh, that was going to be a good lap. Dang. Stock up the... I've got a little bit of um, rear tyre wear still. I oh, appreciate that, racer. Yeah, actually... Wait, Jimmy, that... as in, like... Jimmy Broadbrand. That's the only Jimmy I know. The only Jimmy you know? We in terms of a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, Hyperdrift just lost it at the top. Is that what you mean, I racer? Because that's fucking incredible. But I know he does have a connection to Australians. Like, he has come here. Um, Jimmy's alright. Like, I'm not his biggest fan. He does some cool shit. Definitely does fucking funny shit. Um, I just, I guess I'm a bit envious. He's got the coolest job in the fucking world. He spent $3,000 on, like, the world's worst driving simulator. That was a pretty funny video. He's talking about Jimmy. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. Well done. Well, I had Mr. MCA. I don't know if you know him, but I had him in my lobby last week. Um... And he gave me a little, little love in his video. Um, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, Mr. MCA is not as nowhere near as big as Jimmy. What is Jimmy? He's, he'd have a million by now, wouldn't he? Or he's a couple of hundred thousand, I think. Uh, he's over 500,000, I think. Yeah. He got 500,000 sometime last year. Yeah, he's definitely, I've seen it. What do we got? 668. There you go. That's insane. Off 1.7k videos, which is also insane. Because, like, what have, what have I got now? Oh, 55 fuck. subs, but, like, three weeks ago I had, like, eight. <laughs> um, my, exponential growth. My views went from, say, I've probably gone up 2,000 views in three weeks, but my total views is still only 2,500. Just not much at all. The most I have on one single video. I think it was like just over a hundred. I think, and I think it was the loopy one. Oh no, my carding one had up because my carding one too. At one point. I remember, like, it, it made it so much worse when I raged. I had, like, 22 people there. Well, I'm consistently bad at the moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've done three laps. Two minute 51, two. Two minute 51, just... seven. Two minute 51, one. I can't believe it. Oh, that was such a good lap. I fucking, I, so, I got excited and then I was accelerating towards the line and it just broke loose violently in the rear end and just went spinning off into the frickin' wall. Spun across the finish line, doing a 151 or something, 152. Frickin' hell. It was gonna be in the 40s. Well, no, I'm impressed, Racer, that's really cool, man. I fully had my fangirl moment with, um,. Mr. MCA for sure, like I sweat it all. Even when his mate showed up the week before, PX uh, Grove, I sweat it all over him. I was like, you're in his videos all the time. You're always like number two to him. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, but like I explained, Adam, I've done this before, just in different um, social media. Like, look, I'm, I'm literally wearing the shirt that I was talking about. The Def Leppard font. Yes, this is Chester. It was a thing. It was a big, big, big thing. 5,000. I've still got that one. Like, I purposely, like, my own choice shut down those pages too, because I just got over it, and I was, like, getting too old for this shit, and adminning it was, like... A pain in the ass. I used to contribute so much to it and then it just became too hard. I didn't care. Yeah, and you did that 
very organically. Who she said? My missus had two and a half thousand on her modelling page, and this was years ago. Like even she had that basically naturally before she met me and started cosplaying. Um, but yeah, my, my cosplay one got to five thousand, um, and over time now, because I have I literally haven't used it in like two years, so it's just all, like people deactivating accounts and accounts getting wiped out, whatever. Like it's just naturally lost like five or six hundred likes in the last two years. Even my Instagram's basically done the same thing. But it would also be that I don't post that content anymore. Um, you know, you get it once every fucking six months now, like a flashback or a reminder or the one thing I do still do rather than every day, you know, like the pressure. It's like being, honestly, being a cosplayer is worse than being a fucking content creator because it costs you, it costs you a lot. Whereas a content creator, you just like, you know, you got to create content, play games or have opinions or rage about something. Um, cosplay was very expensive. He is fast, bro. He is definitely fast. Like, but I, I, this is where I said I think he's either sandbagging, or um, he's inconsistent. I don't want to bag him out at all. He's very good, but I just there was a couple of times like he was in yesterday at Sardinia. We're in the same car for the pace he's shown at any other track. He should have been right up my ass. Who's that? Ah, uh, Wilbarra. I race is fully intrigued in the wheelbarrow mystery. He asked, I think, because of the streams. He said, "Do I know him?" And I'm like, "No, it's a mystery." With hey, like, who they are. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing around with like the stream names and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna like pressure him at all. I don't care. Like, it's funny to me now. Like, it as long as it's not like a bad intention thing, um, which a lot of people it can be when they hide behind something. Um, mm -hmm. As long as it's not something like that or becomes something like that, then I'd, they are genuinely humorous, genuinely a good driver. Um, but the banter is just, it's fucking next level. Like, it's just, the, this is, again, why me and Hangman yesterday were pretty set that it's someone very young because they were witty, like, on the fucking ball. Like, almost like they have a fucking keyboard, too, because some of the shit they typed out pretty quick was like, boom, you know? Um... Maybe it's Jimmy Broadbent. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty witty fuck. He's pretty witty. Start proof tires. What? Well, I'm three seconds up on my lap time. If I can just hold this all together. So get me into the 48s. Yeah, well, all right. So we thought it was like a, a rival slash whatever of Loopy's. To, you know, like we, it is very funny. The two people that had beef with each other, we thought it was the first one, and then we thought it was the second one. <laughs> um, but we thought it was OGR Race Tech first, Rob, um, because he kept quoting the. I'd like to thank your mum for all her support, um, representing OGR. Um, what else was the other comments? There was a few. And it was just like, it's Rob, it's Rob, it's Rob. And then sometime last week, Merlin sent me a photo from one of his races at Dragon Trail. He watched a replay. And Will Barrow was third being chased hard by OGR Race Tech. And he was like, we're back to square one. Then Loopy was instantly next suspect. <laughs> um, and everyone was saying, you know, it's not him. He's been there. And then I seen myself them in the same race and basically i don't know all the cs boys but there was like seven of them and loopy and will Barra, and it was at b and i remember when i was doing b and will Barra was there he was like eighth or ninth and i was starting third or fourth and then when i was watching this will Barra was like third or fourth up amongst don and max and baz um so i was like they're quick they're quick quick i couldn't get a fucking good 37 We won't put the uh, pressure on Hangman, but we'll just check out that marvellous Genesis livery. No. 
Top Gun Jester made it. No. Good morning. Guten Tag, mate. Guten, Guten Tag. <laughs> That's morning. <laughs> Salutations, muchacho. What? <laughs> it's mother's, mother's wife that, at the moment. That just made me think of Speedy Gonzalez and his nosebleed. Yeah, mother's mother's wife and and her sister at the moment. Oh, that's and why. I'm seem to be going through this whole adios muchacho. <laughs> it's kind of addictive every time I go um, there. This game's extra sexy in the rain, in replay mode. Yeah. You, literally, you see the fucking grass next to you go as you go past it, like the trail from the back of your car, like shivers over the grass as you drive past it. That's cool. Yeah. It is cool. It's way cool. Radical man. <laughs> Radical. I'm getting better lap times now, bro. I noticed just, I've been it watching. Just takes so much to fucking do it right, you know. Yeah. I'm still using traction control. I had a I had a run Same. last night on one, and I had a run this morning on zero, and I I need I need it on two. <laughs> and I was taming the cougar. Oh, uh, Meta made his first car yesterday, babe. Right, his first ever livery. He's got a little little Meta YouTube decal thing on the back. Bulky. Um, but he has a hey, sorry, stop my timer. a very um, semi-retarded looking cat on the front of it. And I was like, is that a cat? And he was like, it is. And then he started to explain a Simpsons episode where mm -hmm. Krusty loses the rights to Itchy and Scratchy. <laughs> he created the cat. Like mm -hmm. he did it. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Um, but literally, he was explaining it. I was like, my missus would be squealing right now. I was like, she would be loving you so much for naming such an obscure Simpsons reference. Like, is is that the VW Golf Meta? Uh, yeah, it was this Sirocco. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah the smaller saw, one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, the Sirocco. Sorry, yeah, I meant the I meant VW. Yeah, the Somebody little white one friends. that you're using in um in um last night. Yesterday. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my brain's Meta. all over the place. Got in, got in touch with my uh, aromatherapy supplier last <laughs> this morning. I don't and... think I can move the camera, but look, bub, here it comes. You can yeah. see it. Like he literally did, and it's got the German. What is it? Endort hoc heck. Endort hoc heck. <laughs> French. She said French. What is? It? Is that German? I have no idea what it is. I, I don't. I think they ever said exactly what it was supposed to mean. She some, thought it was some French. Said, some oh, people said it's Bulgarian. Some people think it's Bulgarian. Oh, yeah. Um, it's but French. wait for it to come around. Like he literally used the shape templates and coloring and shit to make this retarded cat. And here it comes again because I can't move the camera. It sucks. Like, but it's it's a cat. I can see it. I can see his little crappy suit and his flailing arms and his little man. You did such a fucking good job. That would have took <laughs> so long for such yeah, a basic, know. basic fucking drawing. But yeah, I thought. Oh, okay, yeah, because they're called Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe's favorite cat and mouse thing. Yep. Waco and Parasite. <laughs> what is it, Waco? Worker and Parasite. Worker and Parasite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's harsh. <laughs> hey, I, I remember Krusty. What the hell is with the cigarette, yeah? Is it that bit where he's got the cigarette? And he's like, what the hell was that? Because they always do it in Botchamania, babe. Yeah, he was telling me. And I was like, I fully remember this too. Yeah, you did such a good job, bro. Did you copy it from that picture with the background? Like the red background? Yeah. Yeah, I just because I just seen the very picture and I'm like, you did a good job. The day the violence died. Is that what that's the episode called, isn't it? I did the Iggy. Yeah, bro, my missus is like Futurama and Simpsons are her life. He, um, 
he definitely got a good haul, I can tell you that. I was in him, in him with my race and he should have done much better. Um, and then had some issues and it became hectic as hell and I was so surprised that he managed to keep it together and stay behind me. But I seen what he did in his second race. Fucking hell, mm -hmm. as soon as I seen the points, I was like, mate, mate, I had more points than you when I went to bed. Did I up? Oh, yeah, man, yeah. So, um... Did you see it too? It was ridiculous. It was oh, like 290 yeah, was... two or something, I think. Alright, I guess he that won. Was, that was awesome. No, no, no he, didn't. he didn't. On... He didn't win. He didn't win. GT Mag did. I had your stream on while I was doing my first slot last night too. That was fucking... We both had a fucking couple of cracking races, buddy. Yeah, I, thought, I feel like we all did, bro. I said, Jester and I seem to have had the best night. We only you had to do you one should have done that, Quali. Dude, even Luke, I did know, you see man. how many gains Loopy got? Yeah. He yeah. came. He did what you did. Literally yeah. did what you did. Yeah. Like 15 positions, yeah. I think, or 16 but positions. Having said that, that's yeah, insane. But but, but 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 Loopy, Loopy was. I I I'm not trying to poo poo Loopy's achievement because after the night he had, the fact that he even finished a fucking race after the mood he was in after what Ben did. It was. Did Ben fuck his race? Oh, dude, you haven't heard about it yet. Ballistic oh. Ben. Ballistic Ben at the very start of fucking. This is why when you go into Luke. He was complaining that Makosi fucked his race in the first race. No, no, I'm talking about the third, the the third slot, the third slot, right? Loopy was having problems, so he's gone in to do the third slot because at this point Loopy's got no fucking points. So he's had to go to do the third slot. We've all jumped in his room, and just as the countdown's going, three, two, one. Ben has rapid fired about 25. I enter. I. So all the stream was doing the whole length of the straight when Loopy's starting a race after having not having any points so far. He's just I. 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 Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Everybody lost their shit. Loopy fucking tore shreds off the poor fucker. I mean, I felt sorry for Ben, but mate, the kid deserved it. He just what does it, how does at the how start does of a race. how does Loopy get his? So would does he have that coming? So he's got like his sound jacked up he's on got his the laptop. Plot turned on. No, no, yeah, no. no see, the, I've got the bot too, bot. but it's, I've got I've clicked mine and I don't get no bot in my ear. No, and I've got comments. Uh, oh, okay. I've got, no, I've got, uh, like, I have my phone sitting next to me and I've got YouTube opened up on that. That's how I see the comments all the time. Like, because I don't have the comments coming up on screen. Fuck that. That would kill me. Um, oh, the comments on screen, that's not a problem. Um, but, the, but both Loopy and I, I can't remember how I did it, but I've got, on mine, I've got the bot activated so I can hear what people are saying. Yeah, mine's meant to. I, I activated it. I don't know what you mean. I was even yeah. able to pick like the, the style of voice, the, the speed it's delivered at, the, the, the like the, the depth of the voice. Like it was weird. But I couldn't do like a preview thing of it either. I thought that was a bit silly. I'm like, I'm yes. activating all these voice settings and I can't even do like a preview of what this, this robot is going to sound like. Hmm. Well, that's what, that's basically what happened. It was, Can you turn it, it into was, like a black robot? Could you make it like, yeah, man, good race. I have no idea. Because that I would be sick, because the high pitch like Siri thing is kind of annoying. If it was like yeah. a black guy talking in my ear, I reckon that'd be cool. And James L. Jones to do it. Yeah, like James oh, L. Jones, 100%. Like, James L. J good race, Jester. Good yeah, race. James you know, like that would be so much better than, good race, Jester. Good race. Yo, bitch. Oh, hang on, I've just been invited to dinner. I shared a replay of my 48. Oh, fuck, Muzz got down to a 48, I forgot to tell you. So he's qualified with a 48 something at the moment. And is he already doing, what's, is he doing it in practice? Yeah, he, that's why I was just coaching him in the, he asked if I can just like hang out in the room because he went to dinner at 5.30, so um, he just asked if I can hang around for about an hour because that's what Muzz and I have been doing for the last, what, fuck, 20 years? So, he was just really struggling with it. And I'm just basically being the, the little voice in his ear going, just chill, man, it's all good. I can go have a pipe. I can chill the fuck out, go have a pipe. You're stressing out too much, go have a pipe. Actually, no, can we last night. Um, change so the settings just... on the room to make it so that there's no fuel? 
Oh, because yeah, it's making that's it what wider. I was yeah, that's yeah. what I was doing at the start of the week, and then I grabbed the settings off Jester because I didn't have the website that he So what do you want to do that to? for? So people can't go faster, they can't keep changing tyres and go faster? No, just because I'd like to practice what it's going to be like in quali. I mean, I listen oh, okay, to okay, yeah, 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 running around with a heavy car. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I am down. I am actually down for trying this, like, because I don't. It, yeah. It's it's going to be a long race. It's going to be a very long it's race. It's going to be thirteen laps. It's going right. to be so long, um, man. But yeah, I'd I'd be down for um having a crack for sure. Um, in a little. So what am I doing? Turning fuel off for quality. I copied these settings, so that's a bit silly. They had everything nailed. They were even down to the having uh, the counter, the assist off. And usually people s still set up their nations and manu lobbies with the assist on. And I'm like, that's not the real thing. You can't do that. Um, and this person actually did it, but they had the fuel wrong. And the, the lobby was just called wet, wet, wet. Wat. Wap. Wet ass pussy. Wass. Wet ass spa. Cheers, big ears. No wackers. Who is that? Who is Dunny Rolls? Isn't that someone's second account? I have no idea, but he said I think it was. specifically to you and I earlier. Dunny, it is. It's someone's second account. It's Mayhem's or something, Maybe I think. Maybe it's a wheelbarrow full of Dunny Rolls. I think it's Mayhem. I think it's Mayhem. That's it's like his third. Is it? I think it is. He, I remember hearing a Dunny Rolls. Someone told me they had like three or four. I was like, why do you have so many? And I think it is, man. Or if it's not him, it's Don. I think it's Max, because he was the one with like, because all these names were like, because I was, about I was, yeah. There you go, there you go. Correct. Because oh, I was making man, the I... comment about how all these profiles were. I was like, what's your third profile, Carmageddon? And he was like, Nah, Dunny Rolls. I was like, Oh, you ruined it. Like, Max Dude, Mayhem that Road the Rash. Time that we started talking about stupid names for accounts, and I was going through things. Yeah, like I think yeah. Four K yeah. and go fuck yourself. Yeah, because well, I think I was talking about my original account. And... Yes, yes, I think I remember that. Ask Maxie, is that correct, Max? Well, he's very sick. <laughs> it was, it was that conversation. So. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that motherfucker up for a friend request then. <laughs> Who else is there? I kind of, I kind of want to send a friend with Chris. I drive in this unusual because he keeps popping up all over the place with us. I kind of, I kind of want a friend, Squizzy. <laughs> I want Grant, mate. I want Grant. Grant, yeah. We had him yesterday, and he neither confirmed nor denied. And when he, he, he was like laughed at one comment, and then when I said "fuck Koshi," he didn't say anything. So it's like he's still contractually obligated to be nice. Um, <laughs> I believe even more that's than ever. My, that's what my shrinks do to me. I'm serious. I believe more than ever that it is actually him. Yeah. And he doesn't I'm contracted like to be nice he, to people. He kind of has the laugh and the banter with us and that, but like because he's you know a celeb, he doesn't add people except for the, the celebs that he knows. Well, yeah. the race car drivers, basically. But he's very quietly and secretly shitty at all of us when he's fucking having to deal with being behind us. Hi, oh, Will Barrow. How you doing, buddy? He appears. They appear. They appear. Them. <laughs> Go tag Will See, even that, that was when we knew 100% they were listening because when they were like, Will... Uh, like they didn't say don't assume but they were like will barrows don't have a gender and we, were, we just lost our shit we were like yes we had this conversation we can't assume their gender they don't have one uh, should i should i try should i try sending will barrow another friend request i tried one two days ago he's and, probably watching and, so i mean he could buy you that's ASAP. What I mean. you could literally just go nah I'll decline <laughs> yeah, and like yeah, when you've got the chance to send it again it's like he actually declined at the cunt just for shits and giggles, I'm going to send him another one. Because <laughs> I, I actually revoked the last one. I, I sent one and then I cancelled. Because I figured, nah, he doesn't want to fucking jump on my friends list. I'm too much of a prick. <laughs> uh, he's not appearing in the play. So you've got iRacer trying to figure out who you are now, mate? 
I told you, I'm backing off. I'm just, I'm just making a lot like uh, my my stream names humorous at the, not even at the wheelbarrow's expense. The wheelbarrow is creating the humor. It's not at the expense. Like it's, don't it's laugh at the wheelbarrow. Awesome. Laugh with the wheelbarrow. Um, but I, I, I think I made a clear yesterday that I honestly, I, I think you're a good egg, and I hope, like I said earlier, I hope there's no bad intentions behind the. Um, the hiding behind something. Um, I've had no but problem. With I don't. I don't think there is. Everyone's you, your your wit has been hilarious. I think we deduced yesterday that you're probably younger than the rest of us because of that, and some of the things you've said about the younger crowd. Um, but hmm. look, if I if I found out and it didn't surprise me, I'd be like, you just keep it. You know you what I mean? Like hashtag if you know, you know. <laughs> well, I wouldn't even be like that. Like I just. If I knew, I, I, I'd just quietly keep it to myself, I reckon. Like, yeah. once once on you, because it would only add to, like, the mystery of it. You know, like, being it's able to put of, up streams and do the name. And, but I don't... What I'm saying like is that it's we, not we a mystery for me. For like, the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. it is a mystery. It's still a massive mystery, but it's not one that I'm genuinely, like, at the start, where I was like, who the fuck is it? <laughs> like, um, yeah. Yeah, I, but I, I, I approve of the, um, of the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Yeah, we like the wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, Merlin's got a problem with you. You want, you want me to beat him up? Yeah, I know. I figured the in, we we figured the intentions were all for fun because of the genuine yep. humour. Um, but then, like, and I don't care about this. This is me straight up. I mean, you've heard some of the things that I say. Some key choice lines that I add every time a certain young fellow appears or every time a certain young fellow, fellow appears in one of my replays or something, I always just add this little line at the end of anything he does because it's the exact same thing he will say every time he joins a lobby. Um, I just, I play on it because he's a young fella and we don't need to be reminded all the time. Um, but yeah, yesterday's like what you said about, oh, was it codes? Yeah, you're like typical codes. I was like, ha <laughs> brutal. Um, metal Gear, same. He was gone yeah, that was the best. And see, even that, like clearly listening, or just actually knew your humour, because you you had your reply, took you forever to type it out, and mate, you didn't even get your fucking reply sent, and he already had Top Gun Will Barry in capital letters. It's good shit. I'm definitely glad it's for fun. Like, I, I, honestly, I think it would be the best thing ever if you were actually GT Rebecca. I think that would make me the happiest that ever. That would, now, like, that would rather be than, awesome. If it was rather than being, no. Well, no, like, because, like, how we, we extended, like, the Charlie thing, and I was like, look, you can have the uh, anonymous hiding behind it. You know what I mean? You won't have people sweating on yep. you being GT Rebecca. But, like, if she was clever enough to just go out and create her own one where she comes in and does her thing and trolls us all, um, and is treated completely differently all of a sudden because she's not seen as a girl all of a sudden. Um, not that I'm saying we treat her any differently, but the rest of them do. Um, yeah. Back in five minutes. No workers. Hey, you know how I said I was having a bit of a panic about that last race? Which one? The... Oh, last the, night. the Manu, Start yeah, sorry. Yeah. How'd you go? Yeah. yeah, sorry, I didn't see your points, mate. Finished sixth, got 207. Ledge. Oh, nice. That's a mad result. And, um, Shout out I'll... to GD Rebecca. <laughs> I had two of them pass me in the last two laps. But yeah. I let them pass because they were you just going to push past. Yeah, and I you weren't going for it. Oh, mate, they were all doing it on the first corner and I didn't want to end up in this end. So I just thought, no, you can fucking have it, both of you. But you did better with the tyres too? Because um, you're Persho on that one, weren't you? Rocco was just faster. Yeah, it was meant to be. I mean, like, fucking... In all the lobbies, look at what I race it did. I think GT's the same. Oh, no, GT Mag was the same as me, Peugeot. When I seen his result, I was like, damn, I should have done better. But I was stoked. I couldn't complain. The moment I put in that fucking 55.9 in quali, I was like, yep, done, parking it. <laughs> That's what I did in that last race. I qualified with a 50... Um, uh, 55.7... That's what um, that's, get up the fucking top there somewhere. And for two weeks in a row now, like last week, Hangman and Killer being in the same race, I was so stoked for them. And then, like, you know, decent results to both of them. 
um, but then this week, killer, like, and I felt bad for him too, because, like, he couldn't get in, his, in our lobby, and he was like, alright guys, you know, I'll go try my thing, and we were like, yeah, alright, good luck, <laughs> like, we're doing our thing, you know, like, I felt, I did, I felt bad, I felt bad, like, because just the way, the way he, because, like, he's, he, he's got social anxiety, he doesn't really join parties with lots of people and shit, um, it's like Muzz. It's so, like then like he went and, he went and did his own thing, but he did, like, I still gave him, like, a full two, three minutes when he was in here, I was like, this is, his, like, I, I told him, every strategy we'd run, what we were doing with the tie, everything. I told him everything I could, and he was like, thank you, thank you, and then he went away and got a fucking second. And I was like, it like, quality second, finish second. And I was like, you fucking sick cunt. Like, I love you, I could kiss you. That's a bit extreme. Oh, snap, I'm happy for him. He's, he, he, I know, I knew what it meant for him. Like he said himself, he's had a win before, but that was his best FIA result. That's the most points he's ever got. And I know what that feels like, like to have a win and get nothing and then to like battle for a third and get like, you know, a fucking good haul of points. That's, um, I got a friend request from the guy that won my race, the Japanese guy, because when we were in qualifying, I'd, I'd already done my 55.7. You let him go? Oh, he came flying up behind yeah. me just before the last corner. And I saw him coming off, so I actually just moved off, just went straight off to the side and into the yeah. fence. And he, he qualified in pole because of it. Yeah, got the kick. Um, I had one that I know I gave the space to. Like, he was coming, he was coming hot. I was holding my line for a little. And then there was just a brief moment coming down the back straight where, oh, fuck off. Where I knew he had me. Um, and I basically just pulled, a, like I indicated, um, to get me on that side. And it was coming into the first turn and I gave him the extra room. Fuck me. Um, and after he passed me, he gave me the hazard flash, and I'd only, you know, the other day been informed that that was the respect thing. Um, so I felt really good about it. I'm like, he's a better Japanese bloke that I, I knew was better, and I gave him the space and let him through, and then I just pulled him behind him, and he gave me the quick flash, and off he went. Um, I was pretty happy. They're really good. Like, they're really good. I had one or two that were pushy yesterday, but then even at the end, they were like, sorry for that, you know, that tap, like in English. And I didn't even, I was like, no problem. I think I was like, no problem to anyone that said anything to me at the end. <laughs> it's like, I don't care, I got eighth. Well, I'm so like scorn I didn't go and qualify, man, because I thought, fucking, the only reason I didn't go out, well, I tanked my qualifying. Everybody else went out on softs, and I went out on mediums, because I thought, hey. the first oh slot was going to be a well. shit fest. I thought it was going to be a shit fest, so I'm so spewing I didn't go out and qualify. Because if I qualified at even five positions higher, I could have run with House Jay. We could have won that freaking race. And then I wasted probably about ten laps just patiently sitting behind people till they fucked up. But um, my last two laps, I was nice and aggressive. I figured you guys would all be proud of me in that one. <laughs> I was super aggressive. I was just at the start of the 24th lap. I could see the um, there was a dead in the water Audi TT in front of me, and he was being harassed by a Honda. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm a shot for fifth place here. <laughs> so I was just all over him. But um, I had to get aggro. Whew. Yeah, that was like me with uh, my defending, um, which I got to practice in the last lobby that we did uh well the last yep. two lobbies really but the last one i really like the first one i still gave up but when i was fucking around with uh hangman i was like nah nah not happening son um and it worked and then i remember it like lap fuck it like lap the moment the tires started going lap 13 lap 14 i looked i knew i was losing time to sixth in front of me and I looked behind yep. me and could see three together and then two more behind them. And it was like three seconds to the first group and then maybe five to the second. And I was just like looking at the laps, like lap 13, 14, thinking I'm done here. Like I've, I've lost five percent. Like at that point I was sitting exactly where I started. And I just remember thinking like the tires are starting to get shot. I'm already going like I'm at that point where the car is performing worse than it like, you know, possibly could. And they're at the point where they've got that even wear. Like, it was, a, it was the one leading the charge, too, was a McLaren and a Lambo. So I was like, no! Um, 
one got through because I gave it to him, and that was and then I sat in eighth, and then it got to like lap 21, 22, and I was still in eighth, and I think that's when iRacer had his thing, and it just the pack got from like like I had I, I still had that gap on him at least a second, two second, and then he had his issue on the McLaren in front. Like he was ghosting, and as you've seen it, as the McLaren came through, he nearly got through, and then he just re-ghosted. Like, and we both had to hit the anchors, and then five cars became one for the last yep. four laps, and I finished in front of those five cars. Like, it was, and and lost position two, three, four times. You know, um, yeah, I was, I was stoked with my uh, persistence. And I remember at one point, because there was, wasn't many comments coming up, I do remember at one point, I, I remembered that a comment had come up and I hadn't looked down, and then I looked down and it was just joking. And he just said, keep your head down, mate. And I, like, I, I just looked back like, yes, yes. Um, genuinely felt it, felt that, like, <clears throat> fight. You know, like, and then when the relief when it was over. Honestly, the yeah. relief, and and I was so blown away that I race had just managed. Like watching the replay, I guess we seen why there was a few sentences. Um but I was so blown away. Like when he was right up my ass at the end. Like the amount of times he lost four or five positions out of that whole exchange, and then still managed to finish behind me. Um, yeah. You know, two have only lost that one position. Plastic wheelbarrows. But he said he won't join because wheelbarrows rust in the wet. I was going to and send him a friend request. someone just said plastic wheelbarrows. What's he fooling around? What's he being used for? I'm going to try again. Who makes the hauling things around? What's he hauling around? I don't know. Other people, we reckon. Carrying us out on track. Because that's what Gav was saying. But he was getting ultra-violent, adding a shovel into it. Because his what? upbringing was fucking brutal. <laughs> I just had older brothers. <laughs> yeah, it's a good call. <laughs> I had an older sister that thought she was an older brother. She turned out to be an angry lesbian. It was funny. No, she was like five years older than me, two feet taller. <laughs> Kicked the fucking shit out of me, bro, for like six years straight. Kicked the shit out of me when I was a kid. And then be like, you're a boy. You just lost to a girl. You're gay. <laughs> she was fucking brutal, man. I was like 10. I was like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Oh, <laughs> uh, no wackers. Oh, good. He's still in the room. I'm glad he's here to hear this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another crack. <laughs> Why? Who it is? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sending him a friend request. Why? I only got, I only got, huh? Why? It's a thing. It's a thing. You gotta be accepted. It's a. Th nah, that's not it. I kind of just. <laughs> I have no idea why. Next, it's next so time right. we see, next time we see wheelbarrow, it's like auto two wheelbarrow. <laughs> We're like, wasn't that a contract obligation in your name? Oh. Auto two moto. Auto yeah, wheel two to, barrow moto. My ego demands that if I had a... This is why I can't do a sub-account and go troll people, because my pathetically fucking overrated ego demands that there's auto <coughs> and or moto somewhere in the name. <coughs> it's like me with Jester. Yep. No, this is Jester. Yes, this is Jester. Anti-Jesus Jester. Top Gun Jester. Auto, you could always be TPGN Auto Man. I mean, there was no, Iceman. See, there's so not, well, auto actually, man. the... I at the go kart man. track, at the go kart well, track that I, indoor indoor go kart track that I used to manage mm -hmm. and run over in Perth in Western Australia, back in the mid nineties, it was a place called Kart World out at Belmont, just near the baseball stadium. Ah. We actually had Top Gun things there. My little license, you know, you get your little licenses for your indoor go kart tracks and shit. Yeah. Mine yeah. says Viper. Nice. Because I was the old cunt. <laughs> I was going to say there's still a lot of cool Top Gun names available and you seem like a man who knows Top Gun, so. I used to love the movie. Hate Tom Cruise, love the movie. 
Hey, Wait. Tom Cruise, love the movie. Nah, you're being, you're trolling now. All right, so Wheelbarrow. Yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, this is just oh, too many barrow. comments are happening in both lobbies at the same time. Wheelbarrow yeah. is either trolling completely, or it's just confirmed who they are. What did they say? Shout out to Dunny Rolls. Yeah, because six oh seven. Out to him. Six six oh eight. What a cool name. And then two minutes after Dunny Rolls had his last comment. Gotta go, dinner is ready, cheers mate. Literally the exact same comment. So, either trolling, again, on that epic level, or I is, he's or, on or, epic level. or just is, like, because they, literally the first thing they said when they joined the feed was, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not Max, I'm not Max. I reckon it's just epic level trolling, man. <laughs> or it's just dinner time. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen it yet. I was just there looking at it. I've got it. I was there, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> and then I don't know why I'm fucking sending it. I really have no idea why. It's got nothing to do with acceptance or anything like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I suppose, the only way I can describe it is when my American friends that have moved to Australia permanently and done the whole citizenship thing that the day that they got their citizenship was the day that we told them the truth about drop bears and they're just like you're kidding <laughs> he's like, now you're one of us you're not allowed to say anything dude. <laughs> and he comes back to us about six months later he's going you guys know how much fun i am having with my family yeah over so in America. many fucking americans like they're idiots like seriously they're idiots but they they do yep. fall for it it's a thing yep we used to get them on battlefield all the time Fucking, you, you would literally sing them the lyrics to, um, Among the Gum Trees. You know, like you would type <laughs> out the lyrics. Yep. And they would be like, fuck, oh, fuck Australia's that. cool. Just a little bit of anti-steer. Just a wee bit. A very quick look at this. Sorry. <coughs> Has gone to next level stealth. Because I think it was yesterday, a couple of days ago. He's made his pro uh, profile private. You can't send friend requests. Oh, you know, I was looking at his profile a couple of days ago and I could see which friends of ours were mutual friends. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Now, and now he's not appearing on those said mutual friends lists. Next level stealth. That's awesome trolling, man. Awesome. Brilliant. It's clever. It is request. clever. I don't know why. I'll because you could deduce, anyone. like, the friend request that they accept. You could probably deduce who it is. Like, I'm actually what not group trying to in. find out who it is. I just want to be in on the gag, whoever it is. <laughs> it's more of a case of... <laughs> it's more of a case of... I think I if you were in on the it, gag, the you would become... The most irritating, but like you would just, oh, I'd you be would a prick about it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want you to know. Don't ever let him know, Wilbur. Don't ever accept. Keep it a mystery. I couldn't deal with it. Uh, but he's 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 hidden from all the mutual friends lists now, anyway. Hangman, I'm just letting you know. If I get this, mate, you're gonna have a fucking little sob. 
All right. Just a little Maybe sob. I'll be happy for you. A quiet. Nah, you'll have a quiet whimper. I'll have a sob on the inside. You'll be like, oh, I'll be it'll be, it'll be like Butters. You know when Butters gets the ninja starred in the way. eye and they tell him to be quiet and act more like a dog? Yeah. It'll be like that. It'll be like, <laughs> It's coming. It's coming. No, I lost it! Oh, oh dude. I just came onto the straight. You did it to yourself. You I did. did. Yourself. Came onto the straight oh, at 245. Man. I was minus one second, minus half a second. And you're six thousandths in front of me, like it was about to go fucking boom. <laughs> My optimal is now 248 free. Um, I'd be down, say, five minutes. I'll do it. <laughs> There's an OG wheelbarrow. And it's only got one little trophy star on it. <laughs> Is there an, what, there's an actual OGR wheelbarrow account? Not OGR, it just says OG Wheelbarrow, and the player's only done one game. And what's the game? And it's got no games listed. <laughs> but there's lots of wheelbarrows, I just like... Fuck it. <laughs> that is funny. There's 180 players with wheelbarrow. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> oh no shit, not, fuck that. I, I'm not stoned enough to try and fucking figure that shit out. I just, nah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy with that drop bear, not a problem. Um, you guys gonna have a pracky race? I'd be keen to try it. But like, mm -hmm. I always just prefer more people being in it. There's no point just doing it if two or three are cruising around. Like, I I would very much like to be placed at the back of the grid if you're going to do that because I just want to get some practice in the spray. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick. Oh, I feel a bit better now. Oh, I feel so much better now. Fuck. Oh, so feel back sick. to being you feel sick. Better. You feel sick. Oh. oh, it just makes me want to chuck. I think I am. I'm throwing up a little in my mouth. What? Oh, it's just this certain fucking car out there. It's fucking disgusting. I don't even know why I'm giving it the time of day. Just to let people know how disgusted I am by it, I guess. I'm starting to think... Hey, the top of it kind of looks like a football. It is a football. Basically, a fucking real ugly, vomit-inducing football. <laughs> Throw up on the side of it as it goes past. I just had, I don't way. like football, right? But if there's yeah. one thing I do like about football, it's having a disdain for Collingwood and Port Adelaide. Yep. It's it's just a, especially if you're a Melbourne well, it's, it's that doesn't Collingwood. support Collingwood. No, it's it's like it. it does look it's nice, like, mate. You did a good job it on it. Look, AFL there, stickers are a bit big on the top. Mate, I like it. Nah, it's way. just because of the body work. It looks go. off. It yeah. goes all round, there's, there's a saying, and it's very true. The well, you're doing well. There are Port Adelaide supporters, and then there's those that wish they were. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to tell a paid-up West Coast member that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I only uh, did that to piss my mother off, because all of my family being Victorian, they're all either Essendon or Richmond supporters. Uh, and I good, moved yeah. over to Perth back in the, back in the 80s, and then... 85, they announced that Eagles were going to join the competition in 86, so I became a foundation member just to piss my mum off and been there ever since. <laughs> Don't blame you, mate. Great side. And whenever we're playing um, Collingwood, it's the only time that my mum's going for West Coast Eagles because she despises interstate teams with you, a passion. You know what I just realised about this race, too? We mm -hmm. absolutely, truly only have one crack at this in terms of your lap. Yeah. Because you're barely getting around in track with half the time to complete a lap. Yep. But 
there is What's going on, Maloto? about this when it comes to... Um, yeah, that's what we do, to... man. This is our boys. Like, it's our little group. But Let I love you, bro. You're a back. good racer. No worries, mate. Um, you're a good racer, man. I've, I've followed you is for a long mate? time, and you followed me back a long time ago. I remember the respect was shown. Um, and on, I think it's Indonesia, yeah. There's not many, in my opinion. There, a lot of them can be aggressive. But you always kind of know, like, one that, you know, instantly says, like, mate. You're like, oh, they get the lingo or whatever. Like, you're cool, man. You're cool. Last we are, yeah, yeah. Let's go, yeah. Yeah. You're He's always cool. in my like lobbies. You're cool. And, like, the fact that you seeked out my YouTube, too. Like, you're not the only one now. There's a couple who've done it. Whoa, hangman. Whoa, your connection's having a mad fit. Yeah. It, I thought it was you fucking up, but then it was like... <laughs> um... And it was just you. I'll go hit up his channel because I just noticed he's um. I only just saw the comment disappear. Then I'll go hit his channel. I see. I just. I guess I. I, I haven't done no, stuff like right. that because I always look like when it's just a letter. I just think you know they've got a profile. Really, they don't have a channel. Yeah. So what is it? Oh, I haven't got my reading glasses. Ben, uh, ben, ben Aya Theo. B e n a y a. Theo. Yeah, look at That's a very that. unique um, name, bro. Yeah, man. Ben's would love it. My mate, my mate Ben's, Bernardo. Benaya. Uh, but yeah. you guys have been doing this, how often have you sat right behind the car in front? Uh, only a little, bro. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it makes it an awful... You can't fucking... Yeah, well, I got stuck behind Miss Guzzi, Uh Literally where you are now. So he's stuffed up into the next turn. And I started catching up to him, and I was coming on with good pace. And as we pulled into this turn, um, I was right on his tail. And he was horrible. And then I squeezed past him on the back stray, and he flashed me through as he went off the course and spun. Um, and then Hangman started doing a Mario Kart. Oh, I go round and round and... And that's what he was doing, and it was, it was great. I enjoyed it. But it was my one brief moment following someone, and it was fucking horrible. And as we know, Skizu's not bad. He there just wasn't wasn't doing good. Another subscription for you, Ben. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I've raced with him too. It's almost like, yeah, like it, as... when you look at it, um, it's almost like like it makes it just the Aya at the end. It makes me think of like just uh, Italian or Spain. But nah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. Funny job. Thank you. What did you get, Meloto? I didn't. I didn't see your results, bro. Um, I was very, very happy. I was very, very happy. Um, very, very, very happy. Like you were in the lobby with us, and you were out there at the front too. And those first few lobbies, I was struggling. Um, yeah. With that, I the, enjoyed watching him. I, I definitely like even and having someone like Meta say to me as we were doing those lobbies, like because he went away for a little bit, then come back, and he was like, "Whoa, you're doing better." You know, and I was like sick. Like I knew I was getting it, but it was just last night was about consistency on it. Like it was probably it would have been the same last week at Dragon Tail on the hearts, but I just couldn't have done it in that car. You can't do it in fourth, Gav, and still go out at the same speed. Like way more revs now. You you're too low. You can I can hit sixth, um, but you could do it in fourth. Like honestly, very similar to how you normally do it. Yeah, I did fourth last one, but... No, the revs are too low, going up the hill. I was about to ask him... I hope I see you one day in um, Manu Maloto. That'd be sick, because we're in the same region now, bro. Um, well, so what, what um, manufacturer are you? I think I just looked at the... I didn't look at much. I, I honestly, I turned my PlayStation on before I went to work to see the points because I knew they'd been updated. And I just looked at the top three and seen that I was up there with um, Meta, Joken, and iRacer. And I was like, mm. I will take that. I am. I was, I was just under 100 or just over 100 points from Meta. And Meta, I think, you're just outside the top 10 now, correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, no, I'm actually inside, I think I'm 9th. There's Fucking legend. Uh, oh, dude, I'm 6th for Peugeot now. And 
there's only one other Australian in front of me, JT Mag. So if what I'm assuming was correct from that conversation we had the other day, I'm still going to maintain an SS because the top five for individual nations for manufacturers. Ha <laughs> he's working. Molodo is working and he's watching. <laughs> well, don't tell your boss about me, bro, so he doesn't sub or I can't help you. <laughs> um, you chose Porsche, yeah, oops. <laughs> nah, the oops was I put CDR in yeah, yeah. XDR. Yeah, yeah, you went to tag. Who's that? You're like, some random guy shows up, he's like, who tagged me? Uh. No, I hate I that when you get send, on Facebook, man. You go to type Yoda in a mate's or... name, and then all of a sudden you fucking tag someone else. And yeah, I was going to send him a friend request, so I basically stalked yours and Ballistic Ben's profile. Oh. I'll catch you later. All right, mate. Catch you, dude. See ya. Oh, hangman. Hangity, hangity, hangman. What? But that, is that not a bad thing? I mean, there was definitely a reason I leant towards it for him picking that name. Um. Wow, hey, that was crazy. What? Seeing you just go, I was like, I was like, you're gonna drown. <laughs> but where you popped out too was like, it didn't. It, two seconds ago, it didn't look like that. It's not bad, Baz. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like 300, I think, or something in the whole region. Um, maybe around more like your one, but yeah, sixth in the manufacturer. I couldn't believe that for Peugeot. I was like, wow. Um, and I've still got at least two chances of very, 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 very solid results. Um, if I can get this one down pat, because even Adam, like driving this RCZ, was like, this is good in the wet. Fuck yeah, it's better than the Jag, man. I was loving the Peugeot in the wet. Um, so easy and you went quicker, drive, uh, like what was it, lap, so lap two you were nearly quicker, then lap three or four you went quicker, yeah, the per like bang, Peugeot was you the set the fastest car lap in the lobby, yeah, 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 Peugeot Fuck. was the first car I got a 47, <laughs> I was telling someone was else, I was the, like that's crazy, he's, he's driving one car and then he jumps in my car and fucking does a better time, like, bit of R&D for you, yeah, no shit, no shit, both of us. no <laughs> shit, um, but Spa is definitely a favourite track for me, the, I've, I've had very good Sorry. results in the wet there before, but completely different cars, GTR and then the Viper. Um, yeah. That looks painful, Hangman. That looks painful. It's horrible. What are you, you are both now just like, uh, who's waiting for who? <laughs> Hit him. Hurt him. Um, are you entering, Moto? Yeah, yeah. I'm just changing cars, man. I was get. I had the the Subaru, the Ford Subaru Jag, but I'm just switching into my yeah, other I'll, car. I even though I'm Corvette on Top Gun, I'm I'm rocking the RCZ because this is the one I'll be focusing mostly on. But yeah. I'm gonna. I am gonna have to try both. Uh, I think I'm in now. Yeah. Yeah. Just go. engineer. One sec. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to sit down the back because I want to get some practice in spray. I'm happy with my time and I know that once my engineer gets delivered to me on Friday evening, I know that I know that I've got a 40, high 45. I'm, I've already told Mars I'm sticking my neck out because usually when our uh, therapist uh, is here, it's good for one second. Uh, so. A high 45? High 45. A uh, high going, 45. Uh, so high, I'm going a high 45 because my optimals are all around 47.0, 47.1 and that's without any race engineer at all or aromatherapist or whatever it is that we have. Um, that's just straight 
my optimals are all there, so my engineer. Man, if you got an aromatherapist, really... I think you're seeing the wrong type of engineer, to be honest. Like, that's, that's, nah. that's, that's, that's counterproductive. No, my aromatherapist is extremely good. He's the one that he's good for an extra I second. Feel like That's why I but one that moment. once I've got my aromatherapist here, I'll be very good for at least another second quicker. Uh, I feel like one moment, though, you'd be playing Gran Turismo, and then the next moment you think you're on Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. <laughs> no, that's only if I drop LSD as well. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. To me, aromatherapy, <laughs> I'm like, that sounds like hallucinogens to me, bro. <laughs> No, no, no. That, that's when we scrape the barrel from all the water after, after we start, after, we, oh. after we're distilling shit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's, so that's engineer... After we make beer. Sorry? No, my missus my... is trying to figure out the code now. She just come in and asked me a question, and I just pointed to the engineer and was like, Engineer? And she's like, Race oh. Race engineer, aromatherapist, and thanks to you, Muzz and I now call doing liveries manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, fabrication. Fabrication, fabrication. It was. You came up with, fa you and Merlin came up with fabrication the other day, or Maverick. You and, it was you and somebody else, one of the other What about Merlin? Merlin, Merlin was the one doing Muzz deliveries and I were fucking flat out. Design department. We were talking about the design department, and you guys were all sitting there going, sounds fucking gay. And then somebody said, fabrication. Yeah, that's the do. Hey, we'll do. We'll take that. Fabrication. Ah. There you go. 360 over the line. Hey. I said a 360 over the line. Oh, I thought you were talking time for a second. I was like, wait, what? Well, that's not good. A, a 360 <laughs> yeah, over the line. Five minutes. Isn't that technically four? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good. You can do that. Uh, Danny Rolls is back. Look at that. <laughs> He loves, he loves the lolly gobble bliss bombs. We're both old enough to remember lolly gobble bliss bombs, and you'll be happy to know. Yeah. I have You're found old. a place. I have found a place down here where I am out in this shitty fucking reclaimed swampland called Manor Lakes, Wyndham Vale. I'm happy Bro, to say. Bro, you've got no I, idea how close you are to me. I have every idea how close I am to you. If I throw a stone, I could probably you. break it. I could probably you break your window. On my Dude, you are directly on my way. I would have to just Do you know where I work? your house to Do you know get where I work? Stop nah. all your life, <laughs> um, Costas. Oh, really? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you work closer than you live. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I mean, because I, oh, no, I live in between. Yeah, I live in between. Yeah. So. But I have to go direct past through I didn't know you. I didn't realise you were that close. Fuck. Dude. Man, yeah. I'd rather be up in up in the hills on the other side, over in Dandenong's, uh, over in Belgrave, Tacoma, and all that up near Puffing Billy, because like it just makes sense being a stoner up near Puffing Billy, living in a place called the Treehouse, which is where I got married actually. But um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, um, some of my work, some of my workmates. Um, um out there, yeah. and also, like, yes, I don't know we have met well in various all. lobbies um, before, dude. Um, I don't. I don't know the, the newer area. Like I was saying to my, my mate at work the other day, I was like, I'm old school Werribee, man. I know Werribee and Hoppers. I was like, I don't know any of the fucking new in the state, the estates. I was like, the moment I go into them, they're all the same to me and I get lost. I was like, maybe Point Cook, the rest of them, they can go get fucked. I was like, and they're so far out now. I was like, everything's Werribee to fucking Melton. <laughs> But yeah, I've lived out this way in like 10 years. Raised in the north, but then lived out here since I was about, about 25. Yep. <clears throat> oh well. Bad luck, Pravana. Quality, I better put the gloves on, eh? Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Well, That's if anyone wants to drive out and spray, mm. I'm first out. Yeah, I'm, I'm right just right waiting. Back. I'm quite happy to wait for everybody. I just want to get some spray. Yeah, this time. Duazo was definitely quicker, so I'll let oh, him go. Whoops. 
Mm. Also, do these lights actually do anything? No, they don't. Nothing. Because I could see them on in the replay, and I'm like, they're not working. Like, you could literally turn your lights off. No difference. Yep. <laughs> no difference. Oh, shit, puppy stuck. Go, go, go. Ah, fuck it, I don't care. She can talk to the other dogs. Fuck it. Is she starting to dance provocatively while saying I was born this way? No, she did that last week, but... Ah, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. That is what you meant by go and go, go, sweet. <laughs> well, she damn made me laugh when off the track. You've trained me well, babe. You've trained me well. <laughs> it's like oh, I was explaining to someone the other day the importance of the Metallica and Grammy... Like when when it was announced, and I was just like, "Oh, really? Oh!" And you were just like, "This is going to be the best thing ever." And then it came out, and it was. And I was like, "All right, Metallica and Lady Gaga can do things together. I'm okay with that." Yeah, that was the other thing too. It was like, "Fuck, she's a metal chick." All of a sudden, you know, like metal chicks. Still gotta sit down and fucking listen to that whole album. Get it fucking transferred. Like I've only watched it, Hangman. I haven't actually like put headphones on and like listened to it. You know what I mean? The S and M two. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, because I got the old. Like cost me a bit. It was like seventy bucks. I got like some mad Blu-ray DVD, uh, Blu-ray CD edition of it. Um, but yeah, I haven't listened to it with headphones yet. You know, just watched it in awe. Yeah. But I know headphones would be the true ripper. I reckon it's awesome, man. It's really good. Oh my god, I've just... Yeah, I love metal, bro. Love metal. I've got Metallica tattoo. You can barely see it. It's fucked now, but that says Metallica on my arm. Um, I've done metal liveries for cars. Indonesia... I know so many Indonesian metalheads, bro. Do you know Parkway Drive? Because yeah. I know they went over there. I'm oh, Melodo oh. saying. Melodo saying, oh, so you're Metalhead too. He's just discovered metal. Like, yeah, me and Hangman are Metalheads, bro. Hangman's metal, like old but school metal. metal as them. Yeah, Parkway Drive are metal as fuck. Like, they're not so much anymore, but like, fuck, 15 years ago, they were the heaviest thing Australia had ever produced. They still are. It's just a whole different heavy. It's like stadium heavy now. See, that's, that's the other thing. Like, the metal, I'm sorry to do this age thing to you again, but the metal that I grew up on is things is the like... the metal that I grew is, up on. Is probably pre... well... The Big Four. Royster Cult, UFO, Cobra. Oh, not Rush. Cobra. Um, yeah, a, a lot of the 70s stuff, like... Sabbath. Uh, yeah. Maiden. Yeah, that's... Well, late, yeah. early Maiden. Yes. Because they were early. All late the 70s. Early, yeah, all the all the late sixties, early seventies stuff. Purple. That's pretty much what I grew up on because of my older cousins. So I got all their hand-me-down vinyl. Because all my cousins are about all my took couple of my cousins that I used to spend a lot of time with when I was younger, about four years, six years older. My than dad's so five years older got... than you, so I was born and raised on you know that era of music, the sixties yeah. and seventies songwriter era. Um, yeah, his and biggest the influence anthems. are like. Or that too, yeah, definitely. Back that. in like the days when a rock song would go for fucking seven minutes and that's Loaf, the edit. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. A huge Jim Steinman fan. Didn't um, like Meatloaf very Wright, much. Stevie Wright, EV123. Yep. You yeah, want to talk about on, long songs. I grew up on Easy Beats and stuff too, so... Yeah, all that stuff. Pretenders, all the way back to fucking Dean Martin, Sinatra, Elvis, all of them, bro. Like, I'm a metalhead, but I'm well-educated. Yep. Um, country, massive country influence. One sec, babe, I'm, I'll have to finish this lap. What are you That's doing? one of the things I miss with... Oh, you'd miss it too here in Melbourne is when pokies took over back in the fucking early 90s. Yeah, we I'm not that old. We had so many epic band rooms and nightclubs yeah, here I, in it's Melbourne. Yeah, it's gone, bro. And... It's just, it went from, say, 20 or 30 back then to, like, five now, and even they're going... Tote's done. Um, I mean, even it. the last bastion of the pub bands like Port Melbourne and South Melbourne, they're just all fucking little gay bars now. Oh well. Each their own. 
and I miss the old I miss the old original um, German club too back in Richmond that was fucking awesome fun and the metal um, bar the first time I ever went to Metro Burke Street yep um, oh, yeah. I was a rave <laughs> and I was yep. like 23 24 and um, well um, pumped up for the night um, it was a good night. It was a like twelve hour rave thing off its head. And anyways, I was telling my mother about it like a week later, and saying how I was amazed at the venue. Like I'd always heard legendary stories of Metro and all that, and to go in there and um, you know experience a fucking a gig like even though it was nothing like her. And then anyway, she proceeds to tell me about seeing um, ACD. No, the other way, Cold Chisel support ACDC there. Um, and she was like Chisel outplayed ACDC that night. She was like Barnsley got so drunk. Like she, and she was because like I've, I, 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 I like was picturing the venue to her, and I remember like she's telling me this story, and like I was picturing the venue from when I was there, and I was like, like I could just tell by her telling. I'm like she's not bullshitting. Like this is something she's seen when she was like 16, 17, and it was just this this moment of like. Um, Fuck, man. Like, yeah, I at my like I've I've said this heaps. If I had like, see if I was Hangman's age, ten years older, um, mm -hmm. I probably would have burnt out by now. I'd probably be dead. I'd be a Bon Scott. <laughs> um, I I would have relished that era. Mm. Wait, is his standing start? Got no rolling. <laughs> Thank fuck. Although I guess rolling start. Um, bro, Prog, Dream uh, Theater is sick. If you know Prog, you know Tesseract. Fucking aside, born of Osiris after the burial, they're more gent. Like I went from prog to gent. Um, yeah, if you're into Dream Theater, Tesseract. Look up Tesseract. They are one of my favorite bands of the last decade. Hey right, guys, Dan Bennett at the start. All right, Jester. Uh, I apologise in advance. No whackers. Um, I apologise to everybody <laughs> no, in advance. What, what happened in Quali? Shit, people must have got good times. I put in a 251. Thought I did all right. I was in second and I started on the chicane, so it's like further back here than what it is in the daily races. That's probably good. Gives us all a chance to legitimately gather it rather than starting someone inappropriately on the turn. Except first place is now 5.3 seconds ahead. Yeah, but in Spa, it'd usually be a second ahead. Well, I'd rather it be a second ahead than 5.3 seconds. <laughs> so yeah, you get but it's the first lap you... going up to Eau Rouge, man. Nope, nope, nope. Too much. Gathered, luckily. Too much squirting forth before I was over the hill. Dunny's gone off. Whoa. Yeah, the spray's brutal. Fuck. Can't believe I've got Max getting out of my way. Like he's gonna be a hazard to me. Max. Like I just look at him as the same as Don. Um. In pace. That's 
fuck me. Fuck me. I cannot get that last chicken right. Yeah. I'm breaking about just before the cones. I get it down to first, but I do the flick back to second thing. I'm on your outside meta. And then barely, barely, barely touch that throttle on the last turn. Oh shit, sorry dude, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. I was telling you I was on the outside. <laughs> I thought that you would still break earlier. <laughs> Maybe I break much earlier there than other people. I don't know, I don't think the brakes are all that great. Oh, this is why I wanted to get stuck in your spray. Oh, you're there now? Yep. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. The two of you going up the hill. Bloody gophers. Don't squirt, don't squirt. Thank you. Hey Medra, are you going through this section in third and then third. fourth? Uh, With that third. extra gear? Oh, yeah. Now switching up to fourth now. Yep. I'm going through in second. Because I am a yeah, slow Yeah, the Volkswagen has seven gears though, so... But I'm going through there in second then, um... Forth, but the Jaguar has just got the torque to be able to do it. Okay, don't want to be out there. Oh, I broke way too late then. That's alright, give you plenty of room, man. Gotta swear the rain's got right heavier. <laughs> I swear it has, like I just noticed it in the sound and it just, it looks visibly heavier. It's like the lobby, it wasn't pissing down this much. Maybe it's just this section of the track. Well, Spa is famous for being wet on one side, sunny on the other. Just a miniature green hell. <laughs> no, come on! moment you do anything stupid with the throttle, you're fucking done. Like, my f the worst thing about this race is I'm gonna get, like, ankle cramps. Like, from having my foot in this stupidly hovering position where it's not full throttle. Someone grinding. 246 yeah. at the uh, end of the straight. Yeah, I'm just hitting 247 as I break. about hitting you because I was starting to follow you out there and then the bum stepped out. I'm like, shit, shit, shit. Nah, I don't want 
do this right now. I can't do it. I can't. The moment I try to make up pace, I'm losing the car. Damn shame. Don't try and make up pace, just drive to a number. No, I was just trying to drive it, bro. And yep. everyone else is just getting too far away already. Like, every time I tried to do anything in it, I don't know, in the lobby I was alright. The moment it was an actual race condition, no chance. Too tight, sorry, dude. That's okay. I'm just a slipper there. God, it's so everyone's so slow, even in the replay, watching the four of you come out of that. Oh, I like the Kit Kat. I oh, know it's nice, it's easy to follow, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I think uh, for it? the actual race, I'll just go with like a chrome silver. I was thinking of going the fluoro green because I don't want fuckers hitting me up the ass. <laughs> How? How? His car's literally aquaplaning around the turns. Surely, oh, surely this has got to be bad for his wear. There's the guy in the lead? NSX, yeah. I'm watching it and no, he's, the, the he's, the drifting. he's drifting. He's drifting. The NSX is the matter here. He's drifting. What's his tires like? Little bit of wear on the rears. Is that all compared to the rest of us? No, nah, you're better. All of yours. Shit. Especially Hangman. Covered. Moto, you're about the same as him. Meta's about the same. Hangman's the best of you all. Dunny's pretty much the same as Hangman. Least wear. But it's it's minimal. Like I mean, four laps in, it's I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, the way, and like, I've, but I've just changed to like the bumper view, so the way I would have the view, and he's drifting. The car's flicking and talking and floating and... He's hitting the fucking curb on the revs, my god! Because he's MR too, so I'm like, well... Let's see what he's doing. I think the MR's handle better, dude. My fucking Slow god. Rate, he just left, drives it better than me, he's got steer. more... He's got more faith. This was the case when it was in Nations. The NSX was OP. Shit, shit. Cooked it. Go. That's okay, sorry. Oh shit, sorry dude, I thought you'd got past. Sorry man. He's done a 48-8. Oh shit, sorry dude. That's okay. 48-8, 49-0, I thought you got past, man. I'm so sorry, dude. No, it's okay, man. Maxi's getting his line in. Look at that for a move. Ooh, can't miss this big white fucking bubble. Do I give him a bump draft in? Nah. So, are you early shifting to keep stable? Um, no, not meta. so much keep stable. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and like, if you were just watching me come out, yes, of I was. Of then, because, yeah, I needed. It, so. You did like four gears in 200 k's, but like no revs. Because I can plan it first and second, and the traction looks after it. And like just the natural gear ratio. Yeah, I'm not running traction control. You see, I haven't been trying third at all here. That's what I felt like any time I touched the pedal. The like the line needs to be so specific too. Like, do, do you know if the line wears in? 
Does it? No, it doesn't. It's it not doesn't. Dynamic. Fucking hell. Of course it's not. It should. That's a joke. F1 well, games um, well, can't. F1 it can't games in real life either. Years. No, it can't, because it washes away. Any groove that forms is just washed it away. It depends on how heavy the rain is, bro. But there's still going to be consistent. a visible... There's still going to be a visible line around the track, no matter what. Yeah, there'll be parts where it's, which are drier. Like, sure. there would still be a visible line. You can see in the broadcast, yeah. you can see it clear as day when it's pissing down rain. Um, in F1 games, they emulate it really well. You would just think, just think that even the car in front of you is leaving behind some sort of visual trail as to their line. And I'm just oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm just realizing the, um, the lack of reach for this game's, not only is it the actual physics, the car driving physics of it, but it's the real physics, like, mm. the way you put weather into the fucking, fact. it's like, anything they do with time of day shouldn't really mean shit if they can't fucking make a line appear in the rain. Is all I'm saying. Like, you know, if time of day affects track temperature and shit, then they should have really looked at having a rain line um, and dynamic weather. Like, I just oh, think with when this game come out three years ago, um, F1 games have been doing it for fucking a decade. I just never realised. I never focused on it before. And I guess watching someone else now, like, you see it more. Yeah, so his wear is significantly, oh, significantly more. Uh, I just seen the aftermath man, of that. So come around. Man. Um, oh, his tire wear is significantly more. Like I would say, like yours is minimal, right? Like you look at it, it's minimal. His is double yours. Wow. Oh but again, yeah, I'm looking over. Yeah. Half, nearly half race distance already. So is it going to be that much of a factor? I don't think so. Even with all the slipping and the sliding and the spins, it doesn't seem to affect the tyres as much as it would in a normal race with no rain. That's why you I've know. got traction on too and I just let it bag it up. Apart from that, I just can't catch it. Well, in saying that, you've actually it's, you've got more wear than Dunny, considerably, yeah. and especially on the rear left. Yeah. How's my way of doing compared to other guys? Uh, yours is pretty good, mate. You're very low. Um, I would say that Moto doesn't have your front wear. But he has significantly more on the left rear. Yeah, I didn't have my brake balance set forward at the beginning, so I should... Uh, Hangman's is the same as yours too, and he's had one spin. He was controlling his pace really well. 250, 250, 250, 255. Dunny is setting the fastest pace by a mile. He just come around, yeah. come around to start the third sector, and he's 250th up. Purple. On his own time which is already over a second faster than the guy in front. If he puts this in, he'll be a second and a half quicker than this bloke, who I actually think is starting to struggle. But he's uh, plus nine seven, so that's pretty consistent to his best lap. But yeah, no, he did, he had a moment, because he had a, so he's done 48.3, 49.0, 48.3, that was a big lock up there. He went sideways there. Um, and then he did a 50.9. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he lost two, two and a half seconds. And then recovered to do a 48 again. Dunny is absolutely on fire with the pace. 47.4, yep. 47.7, 49.4, 47.3. What's Danny driving? The same as you, mate. Beetle. I know, Beetle. 
speed at the end of the straights 46 third gear Essie's barely touching 100k keeping it right on rising as he comes into the right 110 hammering it fourth full revs brakes to the cones second gear gets in real low to the curb Early shift to third, stays in third for the kink turn. Fuck, he's a bit wide there. I wouldn't think that would work. Coming up to the fast sweep and left hander. In fourth, Jesus. 130Ks. Would I get it in? He's rising. Yeah, you're better though, dude. I'm just saying for me, like, yeah. seeing these, I'm watching on board now and it's a lot better than what I'm doing. My reactions are based on my own pace. Yep. Still third through the second set of Essies. No more than 100k. Fourth by the sign. Still third in the right hander. Um, 90k's. Early shift to fourth in the sweeping right onto the back straight. So he's, he's very low revs meta like you. Only stretching it out when he's in a straight line and needs to. And he looks like he's racing straight as hell, bro. Yep. Like even coming into the really fast left hander, he just quick break, quick down shift to fifth, hammered it around. It looked like he was on yeah, drive. Yeah, sounds, sounds like we're we're driving about the same in terms of our gearing. Second gear for last turn. He is hitting the curbs as you would if it wasn't raining. Sixty yeah. k on the way out. Early shift third. Much more than fourth than you. Much more fifth, he got to fifth. Breaks before, probably 110, just before the cones, down to first. Fucking basically touched the wall. Early shift to second. Pushed it out. He's got 149. Up Air Rouge in fifth. No lower than 176 kilometer an hour. How much, sir? 176 in fifth. Alright, I'll see what I do. Oh, you so yeah, he's, he's 200th down on his own time. 40, he was 45.3 going through there. Um, for you, Hangman, it'd help probably to watch Dunny and Meta, or even Moto, or any three of them. Because they're driving the same drivetrain. I'm just trying to help Meta's race here now. Because he's he's definitely done. He's definitely gaining on this other bloke. But I don't think he's going to do it in the time that he needs to. The other bloke's realised it too. He's just responded with his fastest time of 48.1. But his tyres, if they're, if, yeah, he's just gone so wide there. That's a pen, isn't it? His tyres, if there was a thing, because like, I mean, any other... Can, oh, he's done. He's done. He's in the sand. He's bogged. His first gear coming out now. Dunny can yeah. see him. Dunny can see him. He can see the smoke. He just cut ten and a bit down to four. It's still dropping four. quick. Four and a half. He lost five and a half seconds. Go! Dunny using traction control? No. No, I don't think he is. No, he's not. He's not. Uh, I guess not. Download the replay afterwards, see where his braking points are. He's doing really well. And the guy knows it now. He's cooked it. He's cooked his tyres. And he, since the accident, he's lost another second in the next half of the track. His pace is. Well, he's, he's, he's scared himself out of it, I think. But he did cook it at the start. Like, honestly, watching his driving style, like, I know you're saying this car's meta here, but the way he's driving it doesn't look meta. <laughs> <coughs> hey. Ooh. 
It's like when your headset and control goes in a race. He's keeping the gap now. He's picked his pace back up. His rear left meta is a little better than yours. That is the only difference. Fronts are the same. Yep. How's yours driving, Modo? Because your it honestly looks like your tyre wears barely changed like since I last looked at it and you've added like five laps, so... Yeah, that's fine, man. It's yeah, actually, and you've got quicker. Else. And you've got quicker as the race has worn on. Yeah. 40, so what, 48 zero, 46 three, 40, so you, your fastest lap is faster than the guy in front, bro. Um, Jeez, man. 150th faster. The one that you just, you did it, and you both did it at the same lap, lap seven. Cool. Car feels good, it's just That's, my it looks it. lack of um, reflexes that are, I'm just struggling with catching it. No, it definitely looks clean. Like your Mosian. Yeah, just tippy toe around. I can see that the I'm pulling about the same gap behind me as what um, Max is pulling in front, so... Yeah, well, he's struggling to break it. It's it, it was three and a half, it got down to three and a half seconds when it stopped going down. He's, he's pushing it down now, he seems to have it here on the straight. And then it goes up again. So it went down to 3.1 and now it's already back up to 3.4 in this in the space of one kink. Coming into the last turn, still 3.4. 3.4, 5. 3.56. And then the acceleration on the straight. He's taken off again. He actually just gained four hundredths in that last sector. He's responding, he did his fastest. He's not his faster than you now, 46 to 8. So he's two hundredths faster than your fastest lap and Oh wait, 46, 8, fuck. Not fucking 48 or 49, 46. He has responded. Wow. And Dunny did a 46-6. Four laps. Fuck, get him, Maxi. Fastest first sector. Mate, I'm not even seeing him on camel anymore. No. They're already into the... So look at that race timer, guys. It's a long one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you just have three and a half laps to go. Dunny rolls again. We've got another ten minutes. Oh, big squirt in fourth. How did he control that? But yeah, it's 100% going to be probably the longest race this season. 
40 minutes. I've had one go over the 40. I think the longest I ever did was like a 44 minute race. I think it was Fuji, like over 20 laps. That's crazy. Fuck man, gonna need a workout. Once you get on the fucking curb at the exit of that corner coming onto the back straight, it's so hard to get off it. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Even bro, I was in like third and like literally letting go of the accelerator and pulling right and still just refused. Yeah. Um, that sucks. He did the fastest lap again, 245.8. And then he was coming in he, so hot into the first turn, he actually gave the, the wall a fairly good whack. He's been kind of scraping it. Um, but he lost half a second that he basically gained in the last sector, gave it straight back. That gap has just stayed the same, this is a battle. Oh, I figured out pretty well how to get around most of the track. It's really just that final chicane now, especially coming out of it onto the home straight. Zero traction. Blew the car up. You're snapping off a uh, Kit Kat finger behind that wheel there, mate. Uh, having a munch down the straight. Re re regrouping. I'm stuffing my Fuck face. the lights on that thing. Fun. See, you would think that when you play with the headlights on that thing, it would make a difference. It's got fucking six of them. <laughs> you got two in the middle and four on the bottom. Oh, the other cars. I never realised that. Yeah, the NSX has only got four. The Beetle's got six. The Jag's got two. The Jag's got two little beady Yeah, yeah. The, the Beetle has six lights, bro. Six lights. It's got its two main big front ones, and then on the front uh, wing, the front bodywork, it has four lights yeah. in the bottom. Okay. Two in two in the middle and one on each side. It is, I actually just realized, it is an insane amount of light as it comes around the corner, compared to the Jag, which looks like it's driving around in the dark. Yeah. That's like a dim light, a lamp from like 1860. It's like the first light. That's hmm. what you've got running in your fucking front of your car, bro. Yeah. One of those fucking bulbs that are like, you know, a red glow because it's just melted. It's just so old. Oh, old school incandescent shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before halogen. <laughs> he's got him. I don't oh, know where that happened. Him. He must have had an, well, he's, he's on his tail. He must have had an issue. He's lost three seconds. He's... Fuck, I've got to get back on this. He's going for it. Oh, no, he's backed off. He's giving it to him. They're up here, Rouge, and he's got... He's in the trail. This is on. I kind of want to watch it from... Yeah, we'll watch it from the in-car. That's crazy. In-car better. For those that don't know, viewers, Dunny Rolls here is Max Mayhem. AKA Road Rash, but Max Mayhem would be the name that you would mostly see of him in the dailies and nations and shit. Always entrenched. There he goes. On the outside. Have a look around for him. There he is. Fuck me, I want to quit out and watch this too. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, time, I bro. gotta go. Um, because my friends are gonna watch the football, so uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow probably. All right, mate. What are you doing, is it? Yeah, Carlton Richmond. Yeah. He got it. It's done. Hey. There's. And now he's pushing it too hard to try and keep up with him. 245.8 on lap 10. 
with fuck tires. Yeah, it's a bullshit place. It's Max, man. That's what I said at the start when he pulled over and let me go past. I was like, what are you doing? He, yeah, that's why I crashed, bro. I swear. Because he let me go and expected me to, to leave pace and then it just, I was like, this ain't happening. I was too in awe of why he let me go. I'm like, you're faster than me all the time. And now he's just going for it. This is plain white beetle. At le look, at least it's not a plain livery. I don't care if it's plain white. No. It's not the basic livery. He at least went, that's a nice colour. Done. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's actually one of the ones that I think is the worst. The stock ones, the Genesis. I hate it. The blue and the red. and It's just such a mismatch yeah. of colours. It's like two different blues and a white and a red. The RX Vision is probably one of the nicest generic ones. I hate the Corvettes. I hate that yellow. It's pretty bland, piss coloured yellow. I don't mind the TT. Yeah, you like the TT, do you? The basic livery of it, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. There'd be a few. I think one of the Aston Martins is real nice. The GTRs. I do like the GTR generic liveries. Yeah. Got similar ones in the Seno Corsa. Oh, big drift! That looks yeah. sick! I'm looking at the other TV. I almost fucked up myself. You'll see it now. But yeah, it was the, the turn before that, he was he he was on the curb, sideways, whoa, third whoa. gear, just like Cause cause we're watching Dunny, we're getting like the perfect yeah. aftermath of Dwezo every time. Yeah, just like whoa! Whoa! <laughs> He's done there. He's, He's done, gone. yeah. Far, so I just saw some. I just see a blue triangle look, spinning around, like, and I want to catch guys, it. No and I won't. Look at my stream. Look, I'm oh. so good. You, can you see me in first? I'm racing. Oh, look at that throttle control I've got, guys. Fuck, I'm killing it. Are you seeing this on my feet? Look, this is me. I'm actually playing. Oh, I'm so good right now. Oh, this is so easy. Fuck, this beetle's the best. Yeah! Bro, I can't even pretend to drive like him. Like, I still feel like I would have crashed the car by now. <laughs> like, I'm, like, cross-steering and shit, because, like, it looks like that's what he's doing. Bad luck, Dwayzo. Dunny killed it. Killed it. He's just done like a fucking 1080. Auto's not far behind you, mate. Nah, wasn't gonna catch him anyway. Yeah, but he wasn't the he wasn't being very consistent. So. That was a good race to watch, Barrett. That was really entertaining. Um. Whew. Sucks well, that I had my start, but yeah, that was. <laughs> like I feel like I did learn something from it. Like early shifting definitely seems to be a thing. Yeah, um, early shifting is keeping a thing the car then. stable. Early mm. shifting is a thing. I know that, but like not. For, I wouldn't have thought it for the wet. I would have just thought trying to you know oh, no, build you your it, speed. And... Oh fuck! I need a pipe. <laughs> really need a pipe. I might have to go across the road to Muzz's place. Hey, cunt. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that was good. Good to watch. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking sweating like a pig. <laughs> oh. Will 
wheelbarrow approval, mate. Wheelbarrow approved. That'll make you happy. Mm. Uh, that's two chat groups. <laughs> wheelbarrow approved. Wheelbarrow approved. That's two conversations hey. going. <laughs> mm. Uh. It's not Max. Dunny Rolls just said it's not Max. <laughs> oh, I think I'll save that. Have a look. Thanks for showing my secrets. <laughs> yeah, you you pushed hard, Dwayzo. Fuck, it helps if I hit R2, dickhead. Idiot. Ooh. Cramp. Wheelbarrow just said engineer time, so now he's um getting some of you Quite. into him. Like, fuck <laughs> me, me, mate. Me now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. Go and get some. Go and get some. Uh, I got heaps of them, dude. Here's another one for you, Wheelbarrow. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll I was this. looking at that when you brought it up. I, it's like perks on top of perks now. It's I'll cool. give you. I'll give you a free one, Wheelbarrow. One of my yeah, favourite sayings of all him. time is, "Do it tomorrow." You've made enough mistakes today. This wheelbarrow <laughs> thing just goes on, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> the pot ticking. Oh man. I'll save that because I know Meta wanted it. Absolutely agree. Just can't feel it. I think I should probably still keep trying to put in at least some good laps. I don't think there'd be any point trying to go to Red Bull tonight, but I definitely plan to tomorrow. Arvo, <coughs> finish early Sorry. on Friday. Um, mm. I want to get, I wanna Friday. get back over 60k. I mean, it won't take much at all either. It'll only take like two yeah. races. I actually got points yesterday, even though I finished four positions below my allocated number. Um, sweet. I gained 300 points, yeah. Had a 4, finished 8. What's the A+, 50 or...? 50, mate, and once you get it, you get a buffer. You get like a $2,000 buff... Uh, $2,000, you get a 2,000 $2, point. $2,000? What? Um, Please. it's literally like 1,888 points, I think. Like, when you cross over, you'll go to like exactly like 5,188. Um, so they give you this automatic buffer, um, of like, you know, if you were to have a bad race or two bad races that you're not automatically going to go straight back. Um, mm. If I did three yeah. or four more Le Mans races, I could have finally made it to A+, plus, but... It's not all it's cracked up to be, brother. Like, it is an achievement, 100%, and once you get there, especially first time, like, but honestly, bro, my first time, it was like, even with that buffer, it was like... I, it's funny, I could show you the screenshot of it on my kudos. Yes. It was like A, A plus, A, A plus, A, and yeah. then A for ages. Like it just, it was like this got there, got punished, because I think it was like got there, like pushed to like right before a nations, got into nations, boom, slapped back down, straight back into dailies next day, bang, next yeah. time nations comes up, slap back down, like, um, yeah, it was it was a tough period for me, uh, and then I self sabotaged after it. 
like purposely. I got to A plus once. Taught myself to like 35. Was there for about four races and then I lost it. <laughs> um, no, nah, this is the longest I've kept it now, and I've kept it for. I mean, it oh, says I got, on, it I says on mine, Kudos it's mine. only like 13 or 14 recorded days, but it's a lot more than that. Yeah. I, it's I, only I whenever got you do mine dailies. Lost mine the same day. Yeah, same. The first time it happened yeah. to me. I think it was Monza. Yeah. So I've been kind of wanting to get back there since, just purely so that I can look on Kudos and go, look, see, I managed to hold on to it for a whole day. Because <laughs> when I did get to it, I was like really nervous. I'm like, shit, now that I'm here, I think I should just pack up and sit back. <laughs> just fucking do nothing. And Mother's like, Nah, fuck it, go in, see what, see what the next level's like. And I've gone in and got my ass handed to me on a silver platter. I'm like, okie dokie. <laughs> mm. Fuck, even you, Hangman, you were busting out 250 so cruisy in that. Like, even, I couldn't believe that. Like, not that I couldn't believe it, but the lap two, every, like, the top four guys, all of you did a uh, 250 on lap two. And I yeah. just thought that that was well done on your yeah, part. Yeah, I just couldn't couldn't hang. I was I was planning to try and sit behind the Jag, but he was, I think he was slowly getting away from me, and then I just had a couple of, couple of spins coming onto the straight. I, I had the traction at two to start with. Yeah. And then... Meta said, oh, when Meta said, oh, I haven't got cr traction. Yeah, I feel like I have to try now, I yeah. I thought to myself, oh, maybe I should, you know. And then... Did it you turn it off? Until, yeah, I turned it completely off. And yeah, it wow. Twice, uh, coming onto the straight. Um, just, it just went around. I, just, I was going so slow. It, it's so weird. You know, that, that last chicane, it's just, you're going so slow. Yeah. You put a tiny bit too much throttle, and it just... Yeah, well that's Ooh, yeah. Around. That's where I lost my great lap as I was bragging. And, yeah. When you when you're trying to keep the consistent lap times, it's hard to it's hard just to not make any mistakes at all. It's really hard. I guess that's why the real drivers do so many sort of so much training towards mm. that kind of thing, like mental. Um, um, Please tell me that's an invitation to come over and get fucked stamina, up. Mental stamina, you know? Or reflexes and fuck. My engineer's killing me today, Wilbur. New fella. Mm. New fella. He's a good bloke. <coughs> oh, <coughs> John. I just Good luck. invited to go across the street and get fucked up. I'm very happy now. Oh, uh, it sounds it. Yeah, apparently Muzz was watching the stream. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed. <coughs> but it was over dinner, sort of. Oh, Alright, thank you very much, gentlemen. That was a lot of fun. <coughs> no worries, mate. That was really good. Shall um, catch you guys a bit later? If you still yeah. want to. Yeah. Yeah, I probably won't be on much longer, but I'm definitely going to try and get a good lap in at least. Yeah. Need well, one good I'm getting one. harassed. Alright. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, I just turned it off.
overcorrected. Don't you dare. Oh, 248 at the fucking straight. I don't care how slow I'm building my revs now, I'm not slipping and sliding all yeah. over the place. Yeah, as soon as you stop sort of driving trying to push it. Do. Yeah. yeah. Then you're just short shifting. Yeah. Even in the RC set, it's working well for me. This is my best lap time. 48.9. Oh,
Fuck. Ah, you idiot. Oh, I was gonna flash him! Damn it! I was gonna sit there and flash him as he drove past. <laughs> now he's driving a GTR. And he rolls. do it with our traction but I mean it's a, it's a lot harder so it's a lot more throttle control and it's a lot more early shifting what do you have the traction on two or I had it on one but yeah now I'm on none so I get low to that curb like they do. I've got no grip through there.
That was way too easy to do that. I'll jump off if you're gonna go. I'll, I'll go too. Um, oh, yeah. I got a thing I can watch on YouTube. Yeah, I bit, yeah, no, all good, bro. I'll I um, some points. I'll get stuck into the engineer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But now I um, I I'll finish you early tomorrow. Ah, on, uh, on YouTube, yeah, rest, uh, local YouTube, yeah, local wrestling premiere thing. I can't believe oh, they're actually putting it up. It's um their biggest show of the year they had like the, the guys we used to go see and obviously because of everything yeah. they didn't do a show for fucking 10 months um and they've only done two since they've come back but their the most recent one was like what's usually their annual big one um and uh obviously like we didn't even try to get tickets because it sold out like that um but they're premiering the um the main event of it like on youtube which like it's usually like yeah. after after it's been taped and shit, it's like a pay per view type thing. Yeah. Yeah, cool smashing one. the blue V's like they're going out of fashion. That's my last one. I don't even know why I was really having. Them. I didn't need them. Um, I usually try to only have them on race night, like FIA nights after work. Um, but yeah, just gonna hopefully check out that and probably have something to eat. But I just can't be fucked moving either. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll probably, um, I'll probably see you tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, no workers. Have a good night. Yeah, yeah, I'll chill. Coke works better. Yeah, Coke would work better. Can you, you got some? Can you afford it? <laughs> you get a shout wheelbarrow. Um, I mean, I can't. Like, I don't think I could ever say no to free cocaine. <laughs> um, I don't think anyone could. It's it's just it's just like you need to do stuff. Here, let's do stuff. Uh, <laughs> you want to race good? Here, let's race good. Um, but yeah, it would be better than V. It'd probably cost me fucking less too. Um, He's expensive. It's more expensive than beer, mate. It's a joke. Good old nose beers. <laughs> oh, Wilbur is killing it. Oh, yeah. He's, this is these last three comments. Smashing the blue V's like they're going out of fashion. Coke would work better. Good old nose beers. <laughs> oh, he's great. He's great. It's a quality bloke. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging around, guys. Had a decent yeah, number. Man. Didn't get any lower than like six or seven tonight. Had up to like ten or eleven sitting there watching our bullshit. And then we got people in other countries telling us that they like our party. It sounds like fun. So um, we're doing well, fellas. It was another good night. It was practice, though. Like it's going to be brutal. It's going to be really, really, really fucking brutal. Um, and I mean, it's in two days. It's in less than. Well, it'll be in just over seven, uh, forty-eight hours. Um, bloke, oh, true, I'm sorry, Wheelbarrow, I'm sorry, they, them, genderless Wheelbarrow, I am sorry. Um, I, man, I hope you're Rebecca, honestly, that's what, I just wish it would be the best thing ever, because I've barely seen her around at all, recently, like, it, it, it is kind of suspicious. Um, said she's seen the Nations race, no comments, and I, oh, hey, I'm starting to think. I haven't seen chicks can race for a while either. Um, but no, I don't care, Barra. I really don't. I find it amusing now. At first, I did care. I really did. And now I'm just like, now that it's blown up, it's cool. It's helped with everything. 
it's a little mystery and I'd like it to remain that way. Auto Moto saying that he wants to know and he'd be in your ear going, oh, I know, I know. He'd give it away. Um, don't want to know. Honestly, don't want to know. It's a, it's a, a mushroom that I will keep in the dark um, <laughs> because it is, it is too good, too tasty. Um, it's, it's been genuinely fun. It's changed the, um, the atmosphere know, almost. Though. Hey? Don't you want to know, like, one day? A little. Like, I mean, like, yeah, if I'm on my, like, my deathbed and it's like, hey, you want to know who that super funny <laughs> bastard was? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know who the wheelbarrow, the wheelbarrow says I know who the wheelbarrow is. Oh, uh, well, I hope you do. <laughs> or you're really confused. Maybe you are an actual wheelbarrow. <laughs> he hasn't had, hasn't had enough nose beers. <laughs> it's like I, I could just imagine that I know who the wheelbarrow is. It's like uh, the end of Batman Forever, when they have to go see the Riddler because he says he knows who the Batman is, mm. and then he's like, "It's me." That's what the wheelbarrow is going to do. It's just going to be like, "It's we." Yes, we get that. <laughs> we understand. Now tell us why we're here. <laughs> um, but yeah, good times, quality chats, great classic hits. Goal 104. Keep him coming. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Triple M, mate. Triple M. All the way. The three fingers down. Work at work. You put the three fingers down. There's two stations. It's either the Fox, which is the fingers over the ear, or it's Triple M. Three fingers down. And fuck the Fox, because that's the pop shit, and I'm sick of hearing pink every day. So Triple M, mate. They do today. They play Fade to Black. Like, they're actually doing this thing. They've been going, oh, we, we hear you fans, and we know you hear, like, like, and they've got, like, oh, um, Enter Sandman playing in the background, and it's like, we know you're sick of hearing the same old stuff, so we're coming at you with, like, fan favourites. Three days ago, Mama said, yesterday, St. Patrick's Day, Whiskey in the Jar, today, yep. Fade to Black. I heard Fade to Black on Triple M mainstream radio, and it was not even, like, a top metal countdown, and, like... I lost my my head exploded when I heard Mama said last week when I heard fucking whiskey in the jar my fucking head exploded. Um, but yeah, Triple M, get on it, guys. If you're in Melbourne, it's fucking good shit. Good good for a laugh, especially in the morning. Marty Sheargold, I'd like to get sponsored by him too. He's on um, that that great show where they sit at the panels. Um, what's that yeah, Channel Ten show, babe? Uh, Rob um, Stitch. Are the you show. Paying attention? Are you paying attention? Have, That's have it. You, have you been? Marty Sheargold, have you been paying attention? He's on that, the bald bloke with the beard. Um, good bloke, big lad, love him. Marty, if you're out there, shout out. Marty Sheargold, hook us up with Grant Daniel, please. Um, yeah, good times, loving it. Good, good people. So, um, yeah.